I cut this song. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of the Let's Keep It A Buck podcast. The only podcast we're not afraid to show both corners. Never, right? <laughs> Never. <laughs> I got my guys here with me. Damo, how you doing today, man? Hey, man. Feeling spliffy, man. Feeling great. Great to be back. Sorry I missed Monday, guys. Had a lot of changes going on, but feeling good. Feeling ready to pod. I missed y'all. Is this the office? Yeah, this is the office. This is the mm-hmm. hold on, hold on. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. 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 I got 2K right there. Everything, everything. You know, well, there's nothing on the wall yet, but yeah, you know, doing great. Okay, okay, okay. I like that, man. I like that. B Souls, how you doing today? Doing great, doing great, man. This one's for all the dogs. You see what I'm saying? Shout out to the OVO. Big teams over here. Um, third day with the Philly jersey. You see what I'm saying? Um, yeah, first first part of October. I'm feeling good, man. Feeling good. <laughs> Y'all know my body. <laughs> Um, if you're new to this and you want to be true to this, make sure you hit that join button, man. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, right? And also pull up a pull up a, a another window so you can watch this with the ads, you know. Get the nostalgia going at the same time, right? I right, that's what I would say. That's the best way to watch it. Um ads, I don't know her. I I agree. I agree. Ads, I don't know her. Listen to that. Listen to that come in. I like that. Listen to that come in. Hold on. I think another one coming soon. So listen to that come in. Nigga, turn that listen to that come in. I like that. I like that. Uh, I want to start things off a little bit differently right now. All mm-hmm. right. Last week we did it, or Monday we did it. I'm gonna do it again. I'ma say this. Oh, shit. I'm gonna say this. If you're broke, you shouldn't be dating. One, one year time. plus gang. Okay. okay. Say it one more time. Say it one more time. <laughs> I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm say one more. I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this. <laughs> I'm gonna say this. If you're broke, you shouldn't be dating, right? I, I know that might be a hot take to some of y'all, but I saw this video. We got to talk about it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What cuisine are we looking at? Um, took a girl to a place called Monkey House, yeah, and mm. I didn't know how expensive it was. And you know how it is when you're going out and you're Them buying places drinks, are expensive, they're expensive, for drink. isn't it? So, so she's ordered like four cocktails, yeah, and she hasn't even ordered her food yet. It's coming out to like forty quid. I've only got a bill fifty. So I started to, like saying, I ain't even hungry, you know. She's like, Well, I'm I'm hungry. I'm gonna order. So I've gone to the toilet and I've texted my boy. He's not answering. So I called him. I said, Brother, please. I need money. I need like a bill 50. I'll run it back to you. So all I'm doing during the day is literally just doing this. Refreshing. Refreshing. Just trying to see this balance. This thing I ever heard in so my I'm life. sweating now, yeah. And then she's like, oh, do you want more? Should we get more drinks? In my head, I'm like, this is where it's gonna go left. Because if I if I say no, yeah, you can't say no. I can't say no. So I'm gonna it's up to you. She's ordered more drinks now. I've then thought, yeah, this is peak. I'm gonna have to ask her to borrow me some money or let's go halves or something. I just thought, let me just refresh again. And I saw 300 pounds in there. Oh, big bro, up bro ski man fabe fabe all right fabe big up Shout yourself out fabe. Man. fabe knows the story anyway it gave me confidence in it but it made me realize i can't do this this mm. is like living on the edge mm. so yeah that was my my worst experience i've ever had listen bro people should never date if you can't afford to date sit your ass inside there's no reason why you think 150 dollars is acceptable to be going outside figure out a way to get you some money so you can go out and date but there's no reason to spend all of your last on dating. That's the stupidest shit I've ever heard in my life. I mean, you're not lying. You're definitely not wrong in the situation. I seen you post on uh you posted about it on Twitter earlier saying who was wrong. And I commented both of them, in my opinion. Yeah, this is what we disagree. Wrong. Both are wrong. One, he definitely there's no way you're asking somebody to come out. You, ha- you don't know the price of the place you're going. You didn't vet the area or you didn't need to have enough funds to actually have an adequate date. Nigga is wrong 100% in that situation. The only thing I don't like from the woman, and this doesn't even have to be a woman. This can be from a man too. 
nigga, read the room and read the vibes. I know niggas got their vices and niggas like to do what they do. But if you're going on a date, the first date, second date, if you're going out, why are you the only person ordering hella drinks? I would feel weird. I don't know why. What is there a situation where you're going on a first date with somebody, you see they aren't drinking, and you're like, fuck that, I'm ordering four drinks. That is crazy to me. If you're not paying, if I'm not paying, I'm going to low-key go off the vibe of everybody I'm with when I go out. If y'all not drinking, hey, bro, if I'm not paying, I'm not about to drink for real. If I'm paying, I'm going to get what the fuck I want to get. That's absolutely fine. I'm going to get what I want. But if I'm not paying, I'm going to go off the vibe of everybody else. I'm not saying you can't get a drink, but to get four or five drinks, you can hella shit, and you see this person that, I'm, that you're with, man or woman, didn't get anything, nigga, read the room. That's how I feel about that. Why is it her responsibility to read the room when you ask me out on a date, broke ass nigga? Why? It's not why? about price. It's not about the price or the cost. It's simply about why the hell, who the hell wants to get drunk or get buzzed or get faded with a sober person? That makes no sense. Damo, that, Damo, I'm here to let you know. Name. Damo, Damo, I'm here to let you know. Oh shit, how many gifted? Shouts out to the team. That's gifted. crazy. Shout oh, out to the team gifts from the Yo, King shout Cobra. To, yeah, shout out to King Cobra for the team gifts. I appreciate you, dog. And we'll do a roll call in a second, man. We haven't done a roll call in a minute, but uh, appreciate you, man. Ten gifted is crazy. Not the little one. As as somebody who lives a sober lifestyle, I don't encourage you to. I don't. I don't. I don't deter people from drinking around me. Like that would be a strange thing, and I don't want anybody to ever feel like they need to. Oh. Well, Omar's not drinking. I, I I shouldn't be drinking around him. That's silly to me. Just like when people smoke around me. Just like when people around me. No, I'm playing. They don't do that around me. Say, that would be, well, that's that's that's, that's kind of crazy. But I don't I don't deter people from doing things around me just because I'm being sober. Just like if you if I'm if you getting a salad, that don't mean I should stop from getting a steak. No, but if you're okay, so Omar, you're going on a date with a girl. And so my father, what you the hell does this do? Me. No, you, you, you. But. Omar, if you're going on a date with a girl or a woman, you take her out and you see she's getting shot after shot after shot or drink after drink after drink, is that not going to alter your perception or be a red flag or anything to you, especially as a person who doesn't drink? Is that not going to be something you know? No, people drink. I know it's I'm, honestly, I know for for me, I'm the oddball. If anything, out of our age group or just people in general, Americans drink. So if anything, I'm the oddball. Being a sober person, I am the oddball. I don't think so, but uh, I, I disagree. I don't think so. I kind of agree. I feel like in most social situations now, like if you're the one who doesn't smoke, or at the very least drink, it's like, all right, you you know, you have to step out a little bit. But this you, is what the the vibe. I don't for, look for weird, most social groups. I feel like I don't, I don't look know. weird being at a club because I was at I, when we when me and uh, when we were down in Austin, I was in the lounge or whatever with Holla, the only one sober. I am the oddball. I'm always that, the oddball. That, no, no, no. Don't get me wrong. That is that is a total different situation. Going on a date with somebody, just going out to eat or something like that, that is a total different situation than going out to a club or going to a, to a function where people are indulging in all this extra shit, and those are the environments to be doing that. Going out to, to grab some food or whatever, I don't think that is a situation that we're... Especially on a first date, and I know this person didn't say first date. I'm out of parameters first date. But especially on a first or second date, I don't think going out to grab some food with somebody, going to a nice restaurant, would be you would be the weird nigga for not taking the hella drinks, getting four or five drinks. A drink is cool. Two drinks is even cool. But once you get four or five, six drinks, like in the video, he said you she still four added. Four you still eight. added. Yeah, you still oh, added. No. To it. But, but she said, but that's what he said she did on the date. She took four drinks before they ate. After the ate, she said she ordered more drinks. That's not what he said. That's not what he said. That's not what he said. He said after she said after she was ready to order more drinks. He said it. Pull it up. Pull up the tape. He said you, it. You going to six drinks? There's a gap there. We can assume that she that's was going to add more drinks. That's Fair. We can assume that there was going to be more drinks added, but there's no specific number to the drinks. But I'll pull it up again because my thing, he didn't say a specific number. You're right. Go ahead. My my thing even about the four drinks, and I'll explain it uh, uh, after this video. What cuisine are we looking at? To go to a place called Monkey House, yeah, and mm. I didn't know how expensive it was, and you know how it is. Dumb dumb now, and Some places drinks, are expensive, expensive for drinks. So, so she's she, ordered like four cocktails, yeah. Okay, four cocktails. Four. Okay. Four even, before the food comes out, it's like forty quid. I've only got a bill fifty. So I started like saying, I ain't even hungry, you know. She's like, well, I'm, I'm hungry. I'm going to order. So I've gone to the toilet and I've texted my boy. He's not answering. So I've called him. I said, brother, please, 
I need money. I need like a bill 50. I'll run it back to you. So all I'm doing during the day is literally just doing this. Refreshing. Refreshing. Just trying to see the balances change. So I'm sweating now, yeah? And she's like, oh, do you want more? Should we get more drinks? In my head, I'm like, this is where it's going to go left. Because if I if I say no... Yeah, you can't say no. I can't say no. So I'm going, it's up to you. She's ordered more drinks now. I then thought, yeah, this is peak. I'm going to have to ask her to borrow me some money or let's go halves or something. I just thought, let me just refresh again. And I saw 300 pounds in there. It's just them two, right? There's no more people. I'm going to say, I, and I'll say this. Mm-hmm. I'll add this. He said, he never said that he didn't drink. He never said that she was solo drinking. So I can assume she ordered four drinks. They split two and two. And then do you want more drinks? They split one more each. So maybe she didn't drink for herself. But four drinks was ordered. And he said she wanted more drinks. Dog, she, she could have ordered four. I'm sorry, Bezos. But she could have mm-hmm. ordered four drinks herself. They could have been weak as fuck drinks. Like I, the, the main problem fair, is fair. if you don't if you don't have the money, then go. I see somebody saying Damo was right. I didn't say that he didn't. I didn't say that more drinks weren't ordered. This sounds like another drink, potentially a more drink. The idea of six, seven, eight is what I'm what I'm what I'm uh, disputing. But what I'm saying here is, dog, they could have been weak ass drinks. And I know people don't fair. understand this. Literally, they could have went to a restaurant. They could have been weak drinks to where at at this place, four drinks could have been what one drink is. A cocktail could be varying sizes. We all know that. If you if you can't pay, you should not be taking there out to eat. That that's what it really is. I hundred percent agree. Yeah, that's ultimately really uh that's ultimately where I'm at, bro. At the end of the day, just I I want to say broke guys shouldn't date, but just date within your means. All right, if all if all you can afford is Chick fil A. Go to Chick Fil A. If all you can afford is homemade meals, I guess that's all you can afford. Do not go to a <laughs> expensive ass restaurant and the bill comes out to one fifty and you can't afford it, bro. I ain't gonna lie. My rule of thumb is if I'm going out to a restaurant, man, I'm prepared to lay down three hundred max, max, max. That's not what I'm expecting the bill is gonna be, but three hundred max, bro. No, that shouldn't even be your rule of thumb. Your rule of thumb should be, and I, I want to ask y'all this too: how y'all would date? So in in theory, because I want to pull up the menu too. In theory, everybody's single here. Meet a young lady, uh, get to know her, or just cold date. Hey, I want to take you out on a date. She says, "Sure." Exchange numbers. We'll plan it later. What mm-hmm. do you do from that point? How do you go about planning this date? I try to I try to look for a good restaurant. All right, now that's subjective, but a good restaurant. I'd probably pick an Italian restaurant just to be safe. I look at the prices as well and just okay. make sure I'm prepared to spend however much I need to to the point where, like, she can order whatever she wants. I can order whatever I want, and we're going to have a good time. It doesn't matter how much she needs to order, she wants to order, how many drinks we get or don't get. I'm going I'm to be prepared for the worst type shit. That's just me, though. Me, personally, um, it definitely depends on what era of Damo I'm in. If I'm in the Damo era where I have disposable income and i'm okay then i'm gonna plan the date accordingly you know i'm gonna just plan to have a nice time see what she's into garner her interests and go from there if i am working fast food or gas station damo i'm gonna tailor the date to what i can afford i'm gonna do i'm gonna try to make it fun but do shit that i can afford and i'm also going to be honest out the gate about what my pockets is looking like because you don't why are you lying to this there's no need to lie if you got to start off your interaction or your, your courting of a woman and you're lying to her off rip, you're all, you, I feel like you're insecure already. So be honest. And that was what I was going to say about him. That was another thing he did wrong. Nigga, just be honest about what your pockets is looking like in that situation. And you wouldn't be in that situation. If you're like, oh, shit, this shit high key expensive. I mean, hey, we can be honest. I don't, if, if she doesn't like that, then obviously she's not for you, gang. But you'll find out real women are very, I don't know, logical. They'll be like, oh, damn, yeah, this. This shit is expensive, bet. And then you work it out from there. But me personally, yeah, I'm going to, hey, you trying to catch a movie. Let's go to dinner somewhere within the range of however much I got. But I'm going to make the most of it. I'm probably not going to try to spend my last, but I'm going to make sure I got enough to cover the date, cover the activities, cover what we're doing. I'm never going to go into something blind. I'm not going to just, oh, yeah, let's go to Chica Bella and not know what the fuck is the prices of Chica Bella. And then I get there looking stupid with $150 in my pocket. And there's fifty dollars stakes, and that's the minimum you pay for something to eat. That's dumb. I think that that's the the main crux of this. So we looked up the menu. Mm-hmm. <sighs> there's a portion of this menu 
to where they have a feast platter that's a hun- a thousand dollars. I'm sorry. Jeez. They have stuff on this. This is one fifty. This is just a chicken. This is chicken, lamb chops, beef, etc. Uh, we have Wagyu sliders for 18. We have some stuff either that's 60, 62, 24. But I'm just talking about how far ranging this menu is. And I'm going to tell y'all young boys something on this stream. Look at this. Short ribs for 35. They got some salads for 10. If you can't afford the most expensive thing on the menu, you don't need to be there. I think that that's a good rule of thumb. Um, I did the math on the drinks. The drinks bust down to $12.50. All together or a drink? No, a piece, a piece. A drink is twelve dollars and fifty cents. Twelve dollars and fifty cents a piece. A drink? That's normal. I don't. Well, that's you normal, don't. Though. That's normal. I mean, I don't drink like that, so I. I yeah. Wait, I don't drink that, like that. And and stuff like that, Bezos. That's what I'm saying. That right there is normal. So even if he had like one fifty or whatever the case may be, he was basically thinking that he was gonna walk out there with like twenty dollars to his name. Essentially, because let's just say, all right, we'll do two drinks, $24. Hell, I, I guess both of them get two drinks. Well, both of them at $40 or whatever the case may be, you know, $48. The appetizers on there were $60 a piece. That's $140 right there. Yeah, I ain't going to lie. If you're in a situation where you have to go to the bathroom, <laughs> text your homie for like $150, sweating bullets to pay for a restaurant. Yeah, I ain't going to lie. That's on you, bro. That's on you. If if she's gonna end the date calling you corny, she's in, she's in their rights, bro. And, and I'm gonna say this too, for the people that were on my head last pod about why my homeboy needs money and stuff like that, I get it. We're homeboys, we're friends, all that stuff like that. I need to know the fact that you want money because you decided to be a dumbass and not schedule your date properly or not do your due diligence, and now I'm giving you a hundred and fifty dollars to take a girl out and not that you can't take her out you just didn't do your research come on dog we got to have a different conversation we have to have another conversation i'm not fucking with that i can say he was definitely dumb in that situation um yeah i'm not i mean if that's my man's if that's a friend yeah nigga i'm with omar but if that's my man's i mean hey shit happens hey shit happens i've done dumb shit it, it sounds like he learned his, his mistake though at the end. He was like, Yeah, I ain't ready for this. Like, it's not like he didn't learn anything from it. No, oh, yeah. Well, he I was didn't... bragging about it. He was like, that, yeah, that was probably the worst experience. And it sounded like it was a learning experience for him. So he gained something from it. And yeah. by all means, it sounds it sounds like, and I could just be inferring, sounds like he paid his man's back because he shouted him out and said he knows the story. So it's something they talked about. He's talked to his man's about it. So it's not, I mean, yeah, I don't know. People I, make mistakes, man. Growing pains, man. It's cool. It's cool. I tell you, but but even in your mistakes, you got to learn from it sometimes. It's a better exactly. lesson. Sometimes you I will simple. say it depends on how old you are. Walk your ass out. Walk your ass out. Hey, I will say it depends on how old you are because I ain't going to lie. If a nigga, me and Omar A just calling me saying that shit, I am going to have to. Yeah, we got to talk. Link, you 26, 27. What the fuck is this? 23, 22, 21, making that mistake. Hey, growing pains. We growing. I get it. You're, you're becoming a man. You fucked up. Learn from it. 26, said, Omar 27, plays a 28 to 30. No, bro. Like you, there's no reason you should be over 25 making a mistake like that. I will say that unless you're saying, you just haven't dated. Omar don't plays the character on here. I try. Trust me, this, this might be why my friends don't fuck with me IRL right now. But I'm not. I'm not doing that. And I think that's another thing, Damo. They. I don't think they understand that. Damn, dog. I'm 27. That's that. That was my whole point in that other conversation. But even to this conversation today, yo, if you're 27, like, I got shit. We got shit to handle. That's a fact. You, you see what I'm saying? And I'm keeping it 100. If Damo texts me or if I text Damo at 27 saying, yo, I need 150. I'm out of, oh, I need some money. I'm out of date and it's going crazy. I'm going to text him back. Yo, you got a household to take care of. What are you doing? <laughs> Fuck is going on over there? Ain't no way. Nah, that's the, I don't know. Crazy. First of all, you'll never get a text like that from me, big dog. You want to know why? Because I already know. If I'm in that situation, Don and Dad never. Yeah. Hey, one, never text Omar. <laughs> but two, I have I have plans in motion for that situation. Hey, babe, hey, babe, 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 babe. go to the bathroom. And when you go into the bathroom, just go to the car. Just go yeah. to the car. I worry, yeah. hey, I worry about me. Just make sure you get to the car, make sure it's running, and we good. I, I'm going to get the fuck out of here. Trust me. I'm, I will. Literally texting a nigga for money in that situation is option 
I don't even know if there's something beyond D. Z in another. Oh, no, oh. not D. I don't know if there's something beyond Z in another language, but that's the option that is. That is like, I've been caught ran handed at the door. Now I got to pay. Like, I don't, there's no way. Like, that can't happen. Yeah. Steal. Yeah, that, that nigga messed up. That, or that I, nigga, I, I, I think the other the other thing that he fucked up too, and and you know this is why I don't date the way that I date, and we can move on after this. Um, I ain't gonna lie. After I seen the menu prices, I would have been I would have said like I just as a man, I would have spoke up and said something. I hey, I ain't gonna lie. We can get apps from here. Or we can get food somewhere else. Or oh, this was the drink spot. Let's go to somewhere else. Or blase blase blah. Yeah. I'm not. I, I can't necessarily say I would have seen. The potential of like sixty dollar foods and still crossed my fingers under the table. Ooh, I hope she gets the eight dollar appetizer. She didn't even do nothing. Od niggas act like she or on the timeline niggas act like she ordered two entrees, three apps, four desserts. She might have just was gonna order a salad. Niggas was sweating. But you, but you know what that is though, right? That's niggas looking from the perspective of not having it and putting that front on for a woman. And have lived that. A lot of niggas have dealt with that. A lot of niggas have went above their means to try a lot of this woman on a date, and they've been in that situation like, yo, I need this bitch to order the mozzarella sticks, and she's trying to get Wagyu. What the fuck? Like, niggas have been. <laughs> they lying to her. Uh, Wagyu, Wagyu not even good. Like, it's. No, no, no. You don't want it. Hey, I, I ain't gonna lie. I looked it up on Yelp. Their Wagyu is terrible here. Terrible. Yeah. That's not you know what's good? You know what's good? The cheesy sticks. <laughs> cheesy sticks is fired. That's what they know. Where? For. Where were? Okay, be so stop. Just <sighs> roll call, please. Let's let's get a roll call. Let's get a let's, 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 let's oh, let's oh god. Let Wait, me, what uh, y'all talking about, bro? Did I, it's on that yeah, for a second. Yeah, I know you did. I see, I see that. I see that. You supposed to be fine. Yeah, you're not you're not ready today, man. Go ahead, man. Oh. 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 Hold on, hold on, chat. Let me go. Hey. Hey, bitches, we like all right, ladies and gentlemen. I want to thank y'all for all the support. We're going to start right here, man. Shout the K Smooth for the resub. Shout the Big Drop J for the resub. Shout the Big Ugly for the resub. Shout the Gucci for the resub. Shout the, the Black Man HD for a resub. There he is. Q Pan. Does, official he baller, Wise Junior, Bryce Mason, King Smoker, Jay, Metacom, Thunder, more perks. That's crazy. Uh, man, B plays, Blazing Chris, PK De Niro, Goonie, Living Like Nico. Shout out to Purchase for the resub. Shout out to Mission Man for the resub. Shout out to Winter Time for the resub. Shout out to Father Father Trump for the resub. Shout out to Simple for the resub. Shout out to everyone. Resubbing right now. Shout out to Ice Bro. OTF Cam. Move like Jay. Ty the guy. Shout out to Corporal again for the 10 gift that I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Adonis Burner for the resub. Pokey Freak for the resub. Uh, Charge for the resub. Matzaku. King Kill. Taco. Andrew for the 10 motherfucking gifted. Andrew for the 10 motherfucking gifted. Hold on. Shout out to Young EA. Shout out to Tab G for the community sub. Or get this sub. Why did I say it like that? What the fuck? Um, shout out to Kizo for the resub. I appreciate y'all, man. I appreciate y'all. Listen, man. 24 hour store. Go into the store right now and put your hand in the cash register for no reason. I know they want us to talk about her. And shout out to Kizo for the five. Or no, no. Amateur Overlord for the five gifts that I appreciate you. I know they want us to talk about her. Listen, man, Miss Miss Red has had a week. I ain't gonna lie. A week. Yeah, she's had she's had a week. Um, I do first want to talk about. I guess we can. This will be slight one. Did y'all see when she said that she uh she fucks with Trump? I hope the whole timeline was making a big deal out of that one. No, I did not see that. Yeah, I seen that. Oh, she said that. Well, now it's hard to find it because if you type in sexy red, you know what's popping up. But yeah, so she, I mean, basically she was on, who was that, Theo Vaughn? Yeah. She was on the Theo Vaughn pod and he asked about who she was voting for. And she was like, she fucked with Trump. Like, uh, all right, here it is. Speaking about Trump. Hellcats, SRTs, come pull up on me. Drive the car fast, do the dash. She made my coochie leave. She makes my coochie leak. Mm. No. Because at first, I don't think uh, people was fucking with him. Like, they thought he was racist. 
saying little shit and you know against women. But once he started getting black people out of jail and giving people their free money, oh baby, we love Trump. We need him back in office. Yeah, that a little bit of free money goes a long way. We huh? need him back. Cause yeah. baby, them <laughs> checks. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. Them stimulus checks. Trump, we miss you. That's like, whoa, Vicky. She's always talking about Trump. You see her ever? I like Trump. No, I ain't never seen whoa. She's Vicky. funny. She's I love Trump, though. He's funny to me. Like, I used to watch his interview. Not interviews. Like, him talking to people. He used to be calling people fat. Yeah. <laughs> he just he's wow. He funny. Like, We're we need to... people like him. Well, I do you think... <laughs> I take it a week. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I go out. I would, um... I would watch a continuous Theo Vaughn Sexy Red podcast. Theo Vaughn is a fucking national treasure. I don't know why so many people hate him. Then you're trying to call him a culture vulture. I didn't understand it. Theo Vaughn is just, he's just cool with black people. I don't know why that makes him a culture vulture. He, I, I don't know how he tries to steal from the culture. Yeah. Um. Okay, so then the, the, the more exciting news, I guess, the one that people want us to really talk about here is that and I'm gonna use my language uh, pretty properly. Um, Sexy Red's uh, tape was put out there in in revenge style. I'm trying to not say specific words because I don't know what you can say on Twitch or not. But mm -hmm. yeah, they 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 put her tape out there in revenge style on her story. Um, it's clear as day her. What does Ja Rule think mm -hmm. about this? This is crazy. Yeah, it's it's her on the TL or on her story, um, taking some salami. Right. Look like that rollover, you know. Um, and then that's kind of it. I don't know. She did she did say this morning though that she was hurt by this. Like she wouldn't do no goofy shit like that. Her words verbatim. Um, I'm so heartbroken. Anybody that knows me, and this is like the first time she's ever done something where nobody could like really reply to it. Uh, I'm so heartbroken. Anybody that know me knows I wouldn't do no goofy shit like that. Um, and this is in response to this is at like 4:38 a.m. Um, so that's that's in response to the tape being put out. Um, what's y'all? I mean, what's y'all's reaction, man? I don't my, know. I'm pretty my sure. first thought is, my, yeah, I've definitely seen it. My first thought is. Who leaked the Whoa, tape? Did Dylan Dan backed out the fight? Go ahead, go ahead. That's crazy. Dylan Dan's backed out the fight. Yeah, of course he did. He always backs out the fights. He's a bitch. No. But um, oh, yeah, he's a pussy. Um, I, I'm not surprised. Niggas was niggas should have bet the over on him backing out the fight. He's a bitch. But uh, I'm sorry. Um, who leaked the video of her getting head? Is that not up the same alley? Like I don't. I was don't, it her getting head or her playing with herself? Because I remember no. her like. Her we we talked about her before. We talked about. I was like, "Yo, yeah. you're so it's average." Same, it's the same video. It's the same video. Um, oh, it is. Yeah, that's the same video. So, no, no I'm not. no, 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 not the video from last night, but the video of her playing with herself and then her giving or her getting. Oh, so, okay, that's okay. the same. Okay. That's okay. the same okay, video. Okay. Um, I don't, I don't know. That wasn't put out on a story. It just it the way that I saw it was just on like the. Uh, on the timeline, um, it just surfaced. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, well, I guess, I guess, I, I guess she can still say she's never, she would never do some shit like that in terms of posting her own shit. So yeah, yeah, the that makes sense. The only problems I'm having in life is which watch Hema wear. Hema, which watch? But um, man, motherfuckers need to leave sexy red alone. One that was definitely fucking weird. It, it, if, let me say this: if it was a serious case of the nigger recording, genuinely out of spite or just out of. Oh yeah, the world gotta see this and posted it on her story. That nigga's lame as fuck. Super lame. Biggest lamest piece of shit ever. Super lame. What I think happened was because shit's happened. Shit, shit's happened to me. Just happened to Draymond. Just happened to a lot of niggas. Motherfuckers was using the Instagram story to record, and instead of saving it, like a lot of people try to do, just save it to their phone instead of using a regular camera. They use the stories feature on whatever. Instead of saving it, you post it. I have personally done that shit on Snapchat before. I've I've been recording with the snaps, and I was trying to save to the memories, but muscle memory from recording is just bing, 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 instead of bing, bop. The so snap I bing, 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 bing. bro. <laughs> hey, man, you bing, bing, bop, and now you posted some shit on your story. You're like, oh, shit, I got hurry up and delete it. She wasn't recording. He was. So did he maybe just muscle memory and post it? 
And I think about it, I don't think so because it was up for like five minutes. So even if he did do that, he should have been deleted it. So I do think he did it on purpose. So niggas should definitely get off her case. But for the people that are like, and this is just this situation and the her getting the sneak picture thing with that dude that was playing act or whatever and was on the live and showing sexy in the bed and shit like that. The people that are on the tip of, oh my God, what kind of men is she dealing with that will do some shit like this? Oh, these are just the biggest, lamest pieces of shit in the world. I, I, I've seen some crazy reactions on Twitter. Look at this. Is, that is a normal thing rappers have dealt with with civilians that they're fucking. We've seen the sneak pictures, the sleep pictures. We've seen the exposes and the showing off to you. Like, we've seen that before. This comes with the rapper life. And this is my hot take of the week. I ain't going to lie to you. Why? Why are people acting like female rappers aren't just fucking rappers? Why are we holding them to the standard of them not doing regular rapper shit like getting sneak picture? Sexy Red is dealing with something a ton of male rappers have dealt with, which I understand people won't deem it as okay, but it's been normalized in the rap game of motherfucking sneak pictures. And if you're dealing with a civilian, they try to show the world they're dealing with you. Why is it now that it's happening in Sexy Red? I've seen a ton of one on the timeline. I replied to one. It was going to be a part of my hot take. Oh, this is, this is just a case of showing men are your biggest haters. Okay, so are women men's biggest haters for the past 10 years of doing this shit to rappers? Are transsexual women men's biggest haters for every time that a straight or a straight male is on the timeline or in the spotlight? They are quick to, oh, but you was in my DMs, weren't you? It, does that make them men's biggest haters? Because that shit happens a lot too, don't it? You mute it. You, but, you tell us, say it, say it. I'm just saying, this shit is normal in the rap world. Why are we treating these rap women like they're not just rappers? Motherfuckers sound like niggas don't cap and they rap all the time. Niggas cap about the guns they got and the people they smoke and the ops they got and the life they live. Niggas lie about that all the time. But now that you see sexy writers having normal sex, oh, this bitch is a liar. Oh, she's she lying because she's not doing a, a somersault onto the dick in a Hellcat. Nah, she's a liar. She's lying about her lyrics. No, nigga, she's a rapper. She's a rapper. Female rappers are just, they're just rappers, my nigga. I'm going to be honest, bro. I was kind of surprised this whole story blew up just because, like, we've already seen it. Like, we, we've already seen videos of her. So I was just kind of, I mean, the only difference is, like, dick is involved, to be honest with you. But I just don't get the commotion, bro. <laughs> like, we've already seen it, bro. This ain't... Say news for real, you know. Leave leave her alone, man. You know. Now I will say this. Um, yeah, this is this is illegal. Um, based off of what I understand, not even what I understand, what I know is revenge corn. Um, based off of what I saw. No mm -hmm. oh, shit, this is the one with the volume. Yeah, based off of what I saw. Um. Oh, okay, so those are her nails from the BET Awards, I think. But yeah, based off of what I saw, this is uh, uh, revenge corn. If she didn't, she didn't put this out. Um, even the whole concept of somebody, you know, accidentally recording on the Instagram thing or whatever the case may be, and then putting it out there, I, I don't believe that that's the case. I highly doubt that that's the case. Mm -hmm. It just seems. Does intent matter? Does intent matter or no? To be honest with you, no. Mm hmm. Not when it comes to, like... not when it comes to revenge corn. Um, it's not. It's not blackmailing. I'm somebody saying blackmailing. There's no demands as far as we know. It's legitimately a revenge corn is just putting out uh, that type of content, sexually explicit content, without the person's consent. Um, so it's it's illegal, first and foremost. I think we should talk about it in that in that frame. But with that also being said, I do think this is just regular, like not. It's not regular for people. I mean, it's it's regular. It's it's regular. It's sad that people revenge corn. It's sad that the other dude had to record her and, or go on live to prove that he was having sex with Sexy Red, et cetera, et cetera. Where I do want to take it, um, in the in the other instance, and I well, let me say this: I see somebody down there in the chat. He he probably gave her the phone or whatever, or no, she could have given him the phone. Even if she gave him the phone, recording for privacy versus recording for public consumption still makes it revenge corn. Like, that still makes it revenge corn. If, if she decided this was supposed to be private, 
he made it public, that would be revenge corn, accidentally or not. Um, I do want to I do want to say this, and I had this conversation when the Kai Sinat shit happened. Celebrities have to move differently. I I I know that you know I don't want to get into the whole bums and this that and the third or whatever the case may be, but like based off of what we've been seeing and what we know. You just can't move like the regular person. Everybody thinks they'll have a platform. Everybody has access to things that made a platform. If you if you think think about this in like the early 2000s, even in the 90s, uh, 80s, whatever. If you had sex with Michael Jackson from any of those eras, do you know the lengths that you would have to go to to get that information out there? Like, even if you had a video... You would have to find somebody. And I always think about that too. Like if I discovered aliens existed and I recorded it on my phone, where would I go but Twitter? Like I can't call 911. Hey guys, I got a video. There's some aliens right outside my house. Um, so I'm just going to bring my phone down to the police station or whatever the case may be. I would, do y'all, do y'all know? Like if there were certain things that happened like that, uh, uh, alien, Bigfoot, um, if you had sex with, a famous celebrity or whatever, and you couldn't post it on Twitter or anything like that. What, what would you? What would you do? What would you do with that footage if you wanted to get it out? Send am I in TMZ. yesteryear? Am I, well, am I in yesteryear? So like the nineties, the eighties, and shit. Yeah, yesteryear. Find, f- finding the local, my local news station and getting out like that. That's the only way you could do it through the newspapers, or yeah. if you had like a a place. If you lived in a big enough city that did like magazines or whatever, go somewhere like that and get it in the magazine. But that's all you could do, or word of mouth. Okay, so TMZ. Extra, extra. My dick was in a celebrity. <laughs> like that's all you can do. T- TMZ does have a, a, a email and a one eight hundred number, uh, but even if even back in the day, like Damo was saying, if you take it up to the local news, I ain't gonna lie. Me, local news anchor man, B Souls comes up to me. Damo comes up to me. Yo, I just had sex with Ice Spice. Me, boy, get the fuck. <laughs> if you don't get I'm the fuck out of here, how did you how did you get out of here? How'd you get here? Who let you in? Because yeah. I come on, bro. I I just think now that everybody has the ability to blast you or you know defame you or whatever the case may be. Um, you just the only way to do that, like move and navigate, is by messing with people that have stuff to lose as well. And that's sad, but it's it's true. But I think what it is, too, is because I feel like the appeal for a lot of celebrities and internet personalities is that relatability factor is like coming from not the richest background and being able to relate. And specifically with Sexy Red, we've, we've talked about the fact that what makes her appealing is her relatability. So when that's your brand and that's really who you are, you know what I'm saying? Like you didn't change up from where you came from. That comes with. Not, you know, we're dealing with the same people that you were dealing with growing up. So it's kind of like a cash 22, in my opinion. I know it, I know it does make it harder because we talked about the same thing with Kai Sinat. Like, yeah. part of your appeal is just I'm one of the gang. I'm gangy. I'm just chilling with you guys. I'm one of the bros, whatever, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but at a certain point of time, and I think that's why, what do they call it? Uh, uh, artist development and all these other things like that. Um, you need some coaching. And now we live in a day and age where anybody can be famous for any literally doing anything. Like you could be the most famous sunglass salesman in the fucking world just because. But at the end of the day, bro, you legitimately have to, I don't say grow up, but you got to understand what this comes with. Just because you're from a small town don't mean you can do the same small town shit. Do you yeah, feel like this is the wake up call she needs? Like not only the the nigga doing the sneak shit on live, but this getting out without her wanting it. Do you feel like this is the New York or the 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 um the New Year's party situation for Kyle? Like, do you feel like this is her wake up call? Or is it going to take something else for her to realize? Okay, I can't be the same hood famous sexy red that I was before. I actually have to start moving like a celebrity. I don't. I don't think it's just that easy. Because everybody has their slip ups and situations that happen. I think that's what happened with like, and although he was out there more regular than not, but that's like similar situations that happened with Nipsey Hussle, Young Dolph, Troy Ave. They, they move fairly celebrity. Mm-hmm. It's just that one time, like, ah, I am craving, you know, Mama Mia's back in my, you know, hood. So I got to go back there and get Mama Mia's. 
And all it takes is that one time going back to Mama Mia's, you know, fucking with that person that you used to fuck with back in the day. Mm -hmm. um, you know what I'm saying? Going to that park that you used to go to. Just one time. You can move a celebrity as you want. It just takes that just one time. I, I might be of the firm belief like you. You Honestly, probably the best way to do it, you got to move. Yeah. I mean, I, I was about to say, I feel like... Out of state, Dolph, though. Out of state, though. Yeah, I was about to say, that that Young Dolph and Nipsey Hussle point to me, I feel like... Man, I get what you're saying. I just feel like those are bad examples because, I mean, Nip got popped in front of his shop in his old block. Like, it wasn't like a, oh, it was a craving of a one thing and, oh, this is a one-time thing or once in a blue moon thing. Nah, he was outside of his they were, shop. They were, they were kind of loose, but and, why, and, why, is and Dolph, why is he going back to his shop? I mean, that's his shop in his neighborhood, and he's frequenting that. And I yeah. get, that's what I'm saying. Like, I get what you're saying, yeah. but Nip was, it, it wasn't just a, oh, well, let me just stop by the shop to show that it's mine. Yeah, 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 no, I understand. He's actually there. Young Dolph, that cookie, that cookie store he went to, he first of all, Young Dolph, said, yeah, he frequents there. And maybe, and again, that could just be the, well, that's the one instant. That's the one break off in the usual celebrity movement. That it will take the one instant. So I, I, I do get what you're saying. I truly do. Yeah. Troy that's Troy that's what I feel I like it's a catch twenty two again. Because even in those scenarios, like it looks like these are celebrities giving back to their community and trying to grow a, a business and again giving back to their community. And now it's kind of like uh, you got to move different type shit. But I don't and know. she was giving uh, some coochie to the community, and buddy committed a crime. That's crazy, bro. I don't know. Mm. This won't be the last time, though. I, if I had to bet the, the over or the under, she's going to do it again. She's going to be back on the north side of St. Louis with some other nigga that don't got his fucking dreads done with an ankle monitor on. Still shouting for my baby daddy. Like, that's what that's who she is. And I don't know if that's... I don't know if this is a big enough reason for her to change that yet. That's why I, I don't think this is a big enough instance for her to be like, nah, I really do got to move different. If it is, kudos to her, but I don't think it is. I'm, I'm saying that Trust me, I'm saying that as if it's not hard to do. Because mm -hmm. even to a certain extent, like in my day to day life, I feel like I have to do things a little bit differently. Just because niggas like I, I don't know. I, I'm not. I'm not trying to equate myself to any of the people that we talk about or anything like that. But like when I get a new camera, or if I get, uh, you know, or or the camera's out or whatever, and I'm like at my at the park that I used to go to. I don't know what it is, but people play basketball differently when there's a camera out, don't they? Don't it seem like that? Even on 100%. the YouTube videos. Hundred percent. But I swear to God, I I'll keep, I can go up there four or five times, play with the same people four or five times in a row, and nobody will say anything. You know, we can hoop, maybe some soft trash talk, but nothing crazy. Let somebody bring me. Let somebody uh uh bring a camera out. All of a sudden, oh yeah, you a YouTuber. Yeah, you a YouTuber. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in your shit. I'm in your shit. Me. Oh, well, I I played with you know. yesterday. Like, yeah, I just played <laughs> with you yesterday. What are you doing? I don't know. But yeah. you know what it is, though? It's that it's been normalized to see people getting disrespected on camera now with the one view, the destroying one-on-ones and the, the Nick Briz saga and all the other, the Savage Squads, the Chris White, all that, the fucking um, uh, uh, Frigga, that shit's normalized now. So now the basket, the playing basketball community, now niggas is aware of. Okay, if I'm a, if I see a camera, there's a good chance I I can get clipped, and it could be someone you never heard of. It can literally be somebody with no platform. The fact that I was on Facebook Reels, Instagram Reels, the fact that I was on Snapchat, the fact that I was on Twitter, wherever TikTok, wherever I frequent my social media, the fact that I see these people getting embarrassed on camera. Not I don't want to be the next one. I mean, and yeah, and you see that as your ticket to fame. You see that as your ticket to go viral. That's another thing. Everyone wants to go viral. That's and like really I said, it could be the littlest thing for people to get famous these days. And they see that, yeah, I was the guy that 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 punk Shady Shims on his fucking YouTube channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went viral. I'm, they just want to have that notch in their belt. And and don't even realize that it's like the most insignificant thing. Um, because I don't know what buddy thinks he's gonna get from this. If he just walks around St. Louis and is like, "Yo, uh, uh yeah, I remember a couple months ago when Sexy Red that, that tape went on her story. Yeah, that's crazy. Who who dick that look like? <laughs> that, dick look look that look. You remember that mole? That mole that dick, familiar, right? That dick look familiar, right? That's my vein. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
Oh, you know, now, now I took it too far. Now I took it too far. No, you go for the smoke session and West St. Louis, and that nigga, hey, you know what's crazy? What that vein look like? <laughs> that thing was familiar to you? That's crazy. Word. Nigga said, oh, shit, y'all see what time it is? Whoa, my God, my God. Uh, but y'all see. Whoa. I remember that, that dick. Y'all remember that? <laughs> that dick look familiar, don't it? Huh? That Wait, what's your lock screen? Is that a picture of you? Just like posing? It's... No, I got my girlfriend in the headlock. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were just like cheesing at the cameras. No, no, no. I got her in a, I got her in a little headlock. You ain't feel what I'm saying? Yeah, it's over with for her. I think I might have put her on her neck that day. I ain't gonna lie. My mom took that picture. Yeah, <laughs> she was done for. Um, yeah, that's a crazy thing to say. That's my uh, that's my okay. dick right there. That's my <laughs> yo. Stop. My dick. You remember that? Remember that dick? Y'all remember that shit? Nick, whole time nigga niggas. Time going crazy, right? Whole time, whole time niggas around him like, yeah, that was crazy. That was revenge corn. I hope that the nigga that did that went to jail. He over here trying to pull his phone back in. Ah, yeah, that's kind of. Now that's crazy. Yeah, he's that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tell you exactly what's gonna happen. That nigga's gonna be like, yo, yo ah. y'all remember that? Y'all remember what sexy was? They gonna use a government name. I forgot what her. Y'all remember when Maisha? Remember when her? her, 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 <laughs> her, 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 her <laughs> remember when Maisha said went, went, went public? Oh my god, that's crazy. Yeah, gang. You know that was revenge porn, right? Revenge porn, right? That's wild that they did that to her. Oh yeah, that's crazy. They yeah, that. yeah, that's yeah. Crazy. <laughs> Ooh, I hope they catch him. That's crazy. Nigga gonna, bobble, <laughs> nigga gonna bobble the phone. It's gonna land face down with the screen up, and it's gonna be him. Ah, 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 I, I can explain. I can explain. I, I can explain. Yo, TTS said, "Shout to Nico." Yeah, that's my spirit right there. Yo, that's gross. Nigga, come into the smoke session. Hey, y'all. You know what's crazy? It's a trend on TikTok. Let's do a DNA test. All right, everybody, get they spit out. I don't. That shit look kind of. Hmm. Look familiar to me. I don't Y'all know. Y'all seen the discord of, discourse about his dick, though? Like, if he was trying to flex his dick, it low key backfired on him. I ain't gonna lie. I didn't see the what? discourse about his dick. One, 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 one. I didn't saw hella dudes saying he was small, bro. <laughs> that that was a one. crazy conversation. Like, that was I small. I didn't think he was that bad. I better say, I didn't think he was that bad. But if niggas Hey, I saw small. K on the timeline. Yeah, that motherfucker got a tiny penis. Oh, well, no, no. Nah, nah, tiny. Like, the only people I know that can say it is K and Larry. They're the only people I'd be like, if they say it, they have a right to say it. All of a sudden, everybody got 13s. No, but... <laughs> <laughs> Come on, bro. No, they were, they were talking about how, like, she, she was dry. And, the like, some people were talking about maybe her pussy's trash or maybe, like, the dick was trash. I don't know. I don't know. I, I feel like that was... Timeline, bro. I did see that discourse. That's the weirdest thing, analyzing the video to see how good and stuff it was and what you would want to see. Some dude... La- it's like to- just go on Pornhub, bro. Some dude last Jeez. night was talking about I would have talked in her ear and... like yeah, it's, it's just weird conversation. Yeah. It's crazy conversation. <laughs> I would have whispered in the ear to get a wetter like, all right, Jeremy, get the fuck. <laughs> so you needed spit? All right, bro. Jeez. <laughs> now, that is crazy, though. Like, the amount of women I've seen can... Can guys not tell when a woman is faking? And y'all saying she's not wet. <clears throat> Maybe it's his fault. Now we're making that's, a, that's a exactly what that's okay, right, I mean, That was a woman. What the fuck? Woman. We're making this a man and woman thing. Uh, yet again. <laughs> Yo, Twitter is a crazy thing. Man, I told bad. you, bro, motherfuckers don't really care about the shit they see on Twitter. All of this is just confirmation bias on some sort of argument that they want to have with their followers or the people that they know, bro. That, that's all everything is nowadays, bro. Nobody I know cares. That when I posted the tweet earlier, I was like, bro, just let Sexy Red have her fun. This nigga Dwayne, oh, rinse, dude. Niggas is just trying to get there. I'm like, all right, bro. Baby. Dwayne, why are we fucking? She didn't even post it, dummy. Like, Dwayne, why are you trying to argue with me? I'm, I'm not even talking about that. I'm just saying something totally different, Dwayne. Why are we trying to argue right now? What is? What are you getting from? It is 8 in the morning, Dwayne. What are we doing? You know you off the handy. Come on, man. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> but that's rinse, just... dude. All right. Okay, Dwayne. <laughs> Yeah, that shit. Oh, Red must be due. You need to engage me. No, I don't, Dwayne. I, I just moved. Dwayne, I just moved. I literally stopped myself from tweeting. I'm like, all right, let me not even. Like, I'm really like, nigga, Red's doing. I just moved. What are we talking? About? You know what? Let me not. I'm not even about to do this with you. I'm, it's like just, thirty days. Jail. <laughs> I'm like, I got a whole month, nigga. I just moved. Let me, all right, bro. I still got sexy red over ice spice. Um, be so. Take it away, man. What's your topic, man? Okay, okay, okay. Just a random thought that I had today, man. I ain't gonna lie. 
if you were an actor, is there a role that you just would not do? Or is like, because of the fact that your profession is being an actor, you're just going to take whatever role that, you know, pays well and shit like that. Like, it doesn't really matter what the role is. I think, and I thought about this. I was like, oh man, my moral compass, this, that, and the third, blah, 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 blah. I don't really care too much about internet discourse. The only thing I would not do, only roles that I, I, off the top of my head, somebody could probably remind me of something, but the only ones that I know I would not do for sure, anything slave related. There's no way that Will Smith emancipation shit was crazy. And I'm and I'm definitely talking about I'm I may be and I don't think I could, but I may be able. Now nah, Django actually got a little deep. I was gonna say I may be able to play some more like a little funnier one, but those serious slave ones, that's way out of pocket. But other than that, I'll put a wig on. I'll be Medina. I can I can only do the slave one if I am in a Django situation where like, all right, yeah, they first first act, I am getting beat, I'm starved. Hey Toby, your name is Toby. I'll do that. Second, third act, I need redemption arc. I need slave revolt. I need my get back. If I get that, I can play the slave. I can't just be Will Smith emancipation. No. Can't do can't be in roots. Never. Can't, only only reason why I say that uh, the, the, the rebut to that though is Damo. Because apparently what I heard was like when Quentin Tarantino was yelling cut, yo, he was still dropping like hard R's. Yo, Leo, I think you're I think you're saying it pretty good, right? But I think what you don't understand is back in slavery days, the er uh, was just punch. You got to punch that in. Just make it ring off in their ear. The er, uh, er. Uh. And he's like saying it, though. I, like, I, I probably would just say that. All right, I can't. Uh, All right, someone yell action at me. He's yell action. <laughs> can't so no, no slave work. I did. Definitely oh, no I, slave but work. But what, what about like, let's say like, I don't know, EDP biopic coming out. Someone Why would I be in that? What am I, young EDP I, or something I, like that? I, I, <laughs> no, <laughs> it's crazy. no, I'm saying like, okay, even even I'm if young not DP? like, because um, really doing a Kobe Bryant detail breakdown of the sexy red tape. They were, they were, but like another scenario would be like uh, the Jeffrey Dahmer uh documentary. Like, would you guys play a role like that type shit? Uh, no, I I'd probably stay away from that too. Yeah, no, I would not be a gay black to be killed by Je uh, Jeffrey Dahmer. I oh, I thought he that. meant Jeffrey Dahmer. I, I wouldn't want to do that either. I'm no, that, that's lie. what I'm saying. Like, if someone, I don't know, they wanted to recast Jeffrey Dahmer. Yo, Omar, you want to play Jeffrey Dahmer? Like, would you take that? Yeah, no, I wouldn't. First of all, I'm a black Jeff <laughs> no, Dang, black Jeffrey it. Dahmer is already, <laughs> that's already setting you up for failure. <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't do that. Also, I, I'll say this, no, being, being a serious though. I yeah, definitely couldn't do black Jeffrey Dahmer. Definitely couldn't do the black gay dude that Jeffrey Dahmer got, you know, that that he murdered. Um, I would probably also stick to roles that were like fit my actual archetype. Cause I do feel like it would be weird if I played like the Prince of Mumbai or something like that. I'm like, damn, ain't, there's no Indians <laughs> that are available <laughs> for this role right here. Like, I don't know. I, I just um yeah, I don't think I could I think do that. Yeah. Game. Or a gay, know. or a gay person. I couldn't. Damn, ain't no gay actors. Yeah, I don't know. I feel, I feel like I, there's a lot of roles I wouldn't take. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to dress. I couldn't. Omar said he'd do the Medea. I, for my beliefs in, in, for a black man in the entertainment industry, I wouldn't open that door. I wouldn't jump that broom of putting on the dress. I don't want that level. I, I just don't want it like that bad. I guess I, I can't do that. Does. Playing Medea in this scenario gets you to Tyler Perry levels of fame. I mean, honestly, mm -hmm. that, that's the theory. That's the theory that, hey, man, once they put that black man in the dress, that is the crossing over into uh, to the real, real successful status. Well, now, that. mind you, now, mind you, Tyler Perry put himself in the dress. Yeah, Tyler Perry. <laughs> Himself and he yeah. initiated himself. Yeah, but. he put himself in the dress. I, I ain't gonna lie. Now, again, if the outcome is TP... Because that's what I'm. That's what I be talking about. About I don't care about what the, the online discourse be talking about. Because man, there's a lot of think pieces about Tyler Perry and dresses, and I swear that nigga lives in like a really? college campus. <laughs> like he just, I just well. couldn't. I really couldn't care. His hallways are bowling alleys. Like I just, I just, I wouldn't. I really wouldn't give like, a shit. You think I care about what the fuck y'all talking about in the Twitter space? <laughs> Two in the morning. No, and I, man. Like like, I would no. actually. I, I would probably be in the Twitter spaces. Like I, I'd be in the Twitter spaces and then text uh, Elon. You'll get in here right now. I might. I might just buy Twitter from you. 
I ain't gonna lie. I'll take that burden off your hands. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Super side tangent. I could not be one of these figures that niggas are constantly making spaces on because I would be like Cardi B. I would be in the space. I would literally be like bored enough to where, you know what? Hey man, cancel Damo. I'm in there. What am I getting canceled for? Let me know. What is it? Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it right now. Let's let's really Joe talk about been, it. He's been in a couple spaces this week. I don't know if you've seen Omar. But no. Like, <laughs> about what? I, like, okay. I, so I follow Feats. Feats is like in these JBP spaces. Yeah, just... no, she's on JBP. She's in the Patreon. <laughs> she's in... No, she's, she's on JBP. She's a friend of the show, apparently. Yeah, she's I on JB penis for real. No, but apparently, like, that whole spaces. And I've seen, like, Joe in those spaces. It's like, Joe Budden listening in the JBP space. And he's not talking? He's just talking. Oh, no, that's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> No, I ain't gonna lie. He might have been there a couple times, but for the, like I've seen a couple just okay. He's just running just to listen is wild. <laughs> <laughs> you imagine, yeah. imagine Nicki Minaj and listening a fan base face just now. Nah, I'm gonna just see what the girls is talking about. I'm not gonna do <laughs> if we get that famous though, well I'm not, I'm, I'm gonna come I'm gonna come up here and talk. Burner, though. I'm at, I'm nah. always gonna come. Fuck a burner. I'm gonna always come and talk on my main account. Like, I'm just the fuck we talk. Hey, cancel LKIB for what? Let's talk about it, bitch. Because yeah, motherfuckers gonna start. You know, they're not gonna talk the same. You know what I'm saying? I want to see how they really feel. Type shit. You know, that's on them. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, and that's, that's them problem. And I'm 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 doubling down in some of this stuff too. Whatever they say, I'm doubling, tripling, quadrupling down. Yeah, bro. If y'all want to act like I'm Wade Westbrook and just change up when I join the space, I mean, that's on y'all. Y'all got to live with yourselves. I'm not going to change up. JV penis is funny. <laughs> <laughs> Omar, they said you, you I, I heard what you said on the pod. You hate women. You hate women. Me, I, mean, I hate their guts. Like, what's up? Like, what are we really getting to? <laughs> Fucking hate them. Uh, uh, see, this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> I don't care. I don't what are you talking about? Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> At two o'clock on a Wednesday. What are, what are you talking about? Let's... Oh my god! I don't care. Like I, I don't know. That would just be me. Let but... me ask: What level of fame do y'all have to get to to the point to where y'all don't do like shit? Like. I mean, y'all already are better at like not replying to comments or being in the comments, but how high of a level do you have to be to genuinely just not care about the online discourse, not engage in anything people are saying, stuff like that, where you're just above it all? What level? Like, mm, I feel like if I ever get to a point where like I hypothetically get canceled and I'm still like set for life type shit, mm-hmm. that's when I wouldn't care. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, uh, who who was that? Um, that actor for beef that. Work for Facebook or whatever. David Cho oh, yeah, or yeah. Daniel Cho yeah, that, or that type of shit where like, okay, you can cancel me, but I don't it literally it does, does nothing. nothing. It does yeah, it nothing. Does, like that type of level. But if I'm still, you know, making 70, 80, 130k a year and that shit drops to 30 because I got, you know, because of the discourse, then I'm, I'm a care type shit. Because I got the baby. That's crazy. I don't. <laughs> I, well, the way, the way that I do it now is like the first two to three hours, I'm probably going to, and it really, it, you know what it really depends on? It really depends on the Jomo amount of or Omar, um, check your Wi-Fi, y'all messing with my pod experience. That wasn't me. That Sold wasn't me. you good though. I, I think it depends on the um, amount of comments that I get. So if like in the first like two hours, bro, I get like 70 comments, I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna go through all of them. And I'm probably gonna yeah. comment. Because that's what I did on that Daquan shit. When that Daquan shit happened, that pod and my video, I wasn't saying anything really. So I was like, I hate Omar. They would send like a whole paragraph. I'm, you're right. I, I agree. I've seen that <laughs> shit. That shit was hilarious. Yo, this nigga Omar? You just gonna let him talk to your mans like that? Yo, you a bitch. I agree. I think Omar is a bitch. I'm like, is that not Omar? <laughs> or, or or I would go in there and just be like, like they would type a paragraph. I'd be like, why? And then they would say something. Like they would type another paragraph. And I'd be like, but but why though? Like, why would you? Why do you think that? And there was like three paragraphs. And I'm like, dang, like the comment count is going through the fucking roof. I'm just typing why. And niggas is just, it looks like crazy engagement. I don't know. I, I think it would take a lot for me. Like, it would have to be so overwhelming. I wonder I wonder how many comments in the first hour Mr. Beast gets. Mm-hmm. And probably that level to where I can't 5, just, oh, no, I can't sit there and respond to 5,000 comments. I ain't going to lie. You got two minutes. The first the two. First, I'm going to say the first, like, five is it. That's, oh. that's crap. <laughs> and it literally all the first the first ones is just me. First, first, first. Third. First, oh. Third. <laughs> Responding to them is like so nasty. Ah, you beat me to it. That's literally all it is. I'll say personally for me, I feel like I gotta get to like 
I can't even say Kai level because I will still be like in Twitter spaces being stupid. I like I got like Drake level, Mr. Beast is Drake level of like success and famous to where I just don't engage in anything because I know nothing good comes from it. Other than that, I'm still going, I will still join random Twitter spaces of people with like five people in them just because I'm bored. And maybe that's the thing. Maybe I got to get to a point of success where I'm not that bored, which I believe is impossible. I believe everyone, no matter how busy you say you are, it gets to a point to where at some point, you will have some sort of downtime and you will get bored. I, my, I, go ahead. My, my, my other one is if they start saying too much crazy stuff. Because I remember when Kai came in the space that one time and I let those uh let the girls up. It was one girl. I can let it touch the back of my throat. I'll suck you dry. Ah. And we were having like a conversation. Like we were really doing something. This is when we first found MK. Yeah. It was like four four girls up there. Kai and Phantom were asking serious questions. And one girl, I swallow real good. Ah. Uh, <laughs> okay, I don't know. I, I, I You swallow real good, I guess. Mm-hmm. And yes, chat. Miss Be Nasty does have me blocked. That is a real screenshot. Right. Damn, bro. That's Yo, fucked up. Stop. <laughs> stop. stop. It's your fault. <laughs> I literally got blocked as collateral, bro. This is crazy. It's cool, man. Did you read, did, did you retweet it or what you what did you end up? I forgot what you did. I was you were doing a space and I was literally just in it. That's that's it. She I was everybody. I was one of the speakers. I think um, Miss B Nasty was in the the uh title and yeah. like she just went in there and blocked everyone on stage. So Yeah, because Jay got blocked too, I think. <laughs> but then I it's just funny at this point when, when people ask, like, yo, who's who's a funny person that got you blocked on Twitter? Yeah, Miss B Nasty got me blocked. <laughs> Yikes, buddy! That's, hey, when uh, rents do, it's a tweet that I put out. So <laughs> the Miss B nasty got me blocked. Yeah, yo, <laughs> yo, Miss B is. It's been like three years. Dang, I should probably yo, start Ms. doing B that. Miss B is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't, Damn, what what I <laughs> Type shit, bro. Yeah. Ah, Damo, take it away, man. All right, man. All right, man. All right, man. So, uh. Listen, we got a bunch of creators up here. You know, creators create type shit. Um, I need to ask y'all. Are y'all familiar with... Hold on, let me pull it up. Let me pull it up. Damn, Jana Smith getting big. Is it fucking... I fuck his name all over. Cobb. Are y'all familiar with Cobb? Yes. You familiar Quetto. with him? Um, Quetto Cobb. Quetto Cobb, yeah. I, I used to watch him back in the day uh, when I was a little bit younger, watching his game and shit like that and everything. Um, essentially, he went through this whole era of fully embracing AI. He had this whole YouTube channel dedicated to putting out content generated by AI using his voice and an AI-generated picture of himself, like animated thing, and legit mm-hmm. had a whole YouTube channel, had a little bit of traction uh, where that's the whole content. Like He would play games and just have the AI talking over it. Which basically no work. He was really pushing AI for creators. And now he's talking about doing fully AI generated YouTube thumbnails. And I wanted to ask y'all, as you know, the top creators that I know, how do y'all feel about creators going this route of either AI generated thumbnails or you like guys that are super busy or you know been in the game for a minute, whatever it is, certain level, Mr. Beast, whatever it is, doing AI generated content. So they're doing gaming content or some like commentary shit, and they're using AI to do the voiceover instead of them. How do y'all feel about that one? People are lazy, bro. Mm-hmm. Like the people who are obsessed with AI. That's lazy. I just think these are I, people that want to so. take the the easiest shortcut to views to. Making this thing that runs itself because you want to be self-employed and the entrepreneur laying on like it's the same thing. Like I feel like AI is the new like I don't know crypto. Like everyone's just promoting yo. If you want to get rich quick fast, do crypto. It, it, it's just giving those vibes. And um, I think it's fine to try to find ways to use AI to like help out your processes and, and, and stuff like that. But to mm-hmm. but to dedicate your whole career to essentially being obsessed over AI and trying to AI everything, that shit is weird. Because I've been keeping up with that shit too. Like he used to, um, he announced like every like he's gonna quit YouTube, right? And then he's gonna make this AI avatar. And at first it was just an animated thing, like you said. And then he did um like a, a reannouncement. Yeah, Quibble Cop AI is dead. And the whole announcement was just like a a like a one like an AI thing that looked exactly like him, like a photorealistic version of him. Excuse me, that was the word I was looking for. So he did that, 
And now he's just, hey, instead of trying to make a, th like, thumbnails aren't even that hard. I'm, I'm going to keep it a bean, bro. Once you get, like, the basic skills, thumbnails aren't even that hard. So the fact mm -hmm. that he's going a step further and, sure, yo, let's make the, the thumbnail, uh, the whole thumbnail AI, just press a button, do, 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 and you can make a, I don't know, bro. I just, I just don't fuck with it. I just don't fuck with it. Well, go ahead, Omar. Your thoughts? I, well, if you, if you, the easiest way to make money is to have money. Um, mm -hmm. I think people may understand that, may may not understand that, but the easiest way to make money is to have money. He has money. Therefore, he has access to resources in which he can make more money. This is what capitalism is. Now I can put my, so I can put my resources into something else that makes more money. Sure, it might drive down creativity, ingenuity, or whatever the case may be, but, you know, I can go ahead uh, uh and put my money into this thing, hoping that I can um, get this shit out of here. I don't necessarily like it, mm -hmm. but if niggas get money and it's not harming nobody, I don't I don't know what to say. If, if somebody proves me that it's harming somebody, mm -hmm. it is what it is. But I'm going to go on a paper chase. I ain't going to hate on them. I think Dre would have a problem with you, sir. I'll just say it. But <laughs> I think Dre is harmed by this revelation. There's a place for Dre, though. There's a place for Dre in this world. Not an AI generated thumbnails. It's not but everybody, thumbnail. everybody wouldn't go AI generated thumbnails. But it, you know, it just means that Dre has to get more creative. You know, if Lasso, us, he got to do more if than us and Cash, If us, Cash Nasty, and Testerary creator was like, "Nah, fuck, we going AI." What Dre gonna do? He better get. He better get better at creating. He better. He better figure out a new way to use his skills. To to find a source of income, everybody's got to innovate, and you got to also show why you're better than the AI. Because mm -hmm. I'm I'm not gonna lie, I think this is why Biso said it too. Like, although it is easy, AI isn't perfect. AI ain't gonna get you the best results. She, AI, honestly, AI gonna get you some ass nine times out of ten. So if you're mm -hmm. a, if you're a person who seriously take thumbnails serious, you are gonna find a way to combat it by just being better. Yeah, I, th so I think what he's you... trying to do is like he's trying to get on the ground floor or something that isn't there uh, there yet. Because from my understanding, like that whole technology he's using, like he's hiring software developers and stuff like that. So oh, on is that he? Front, yeah, apparently. Oh like, well. So he, he's he's doing that shit. Um, I forgot where I was going with it, but yeah, I I, I just know he's using uh software developers. I thought he was using. Like, he has some a whole last team. No, no, no. Oh well. From what I say, know. so does this look ass? Yes. Oh, I'm at, oh, Omar, does this look ass? Yeah. Okay, well, I would say... I I'm mean, AI. I would say I'm kind of like in the gap or like in the middle. Like, I definitely do understand it's super lazy. And in terms of basing your whole YouTube channel and everything based off of AI, that's a hella overboard, and I don't like that. But in terms of the thumbnails, I'm not going to lie. If you're still doing genuine content, you're recording the content, you're editing the content, you're trying to come up with the ideas for the content and all the things like that. And you're just AI generating your thumbnails. I I don't really care about that. That just seems like a time saver. Like, all right, bro, I'm not that's just like a money saver. If you was paying somebody to do it and now you cut your cost by 85% by just doing an AI thumbnail and you genuinely don't care that much. If that's good enough for you, that's good enough for you. Cool. I I don't get the problem with that, the AI uh, thumbnail part of it, but doing the whole artificial face scan type shit, it looks like a fucking 2K my player. It's in the top box, and I'm talking over social commentary, and it's AI generated work. That's hella crazy to me. Like that's that's super super left field, and, and I'm not with that. I wasn't with it when he first originally did it. Said he was quitting and popped back up with it. I thought that was a terrible idea. And when he said it was retired, I was hoping he was done with it altogether. But I'm with Souls. I think that he's really trying to get on the ground floor. This AI shit, like it's like that. And oh yeah, that, that's what I was about to say. Yeah, he, he's just trying to get on the ground floor or something with this whole team that he's building. But I'm gonna keep it being like the content does not look good. <laughs> like it just, it just doesn't from the thumbnails to the actual video. It just feels like robotic un and unnatural. You know what I'm saying? If AI gets to a point where things like dead ass look photorealistic, then my answer might change. But as of right now, it's just I don't know. It just, I mean, just feels gimmicky, bro. I, don't know. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Some of this, some of these AI pictures and videos are pretty fucking convincing. And I understand, like, you can be like, ah, oh, well, if you really look at it, a lot of people don't really look at shit. People read, people read titles and go with it. People scroll by shit, double tap, scroll by. Like, people don't really be looking at shit. A lot of this shit looks real convincing. There was a picture earlier of fucking, um, what is it, LeBron shaking hands with 
some Chinese government motherfuckers, and it, like niggas with the Chinese basketball flags was in the not the Chinese basketball flags, but the Chinese flags and everything. <laughs> it it was just some crazy shit. But it looked it genuinely. I could see how people would be like, "There go LeBron catered to them Chinese people again." But like, I can see it. Like it looked real enough to be passed. Mr. Beast had to put a statement out about, "Oh man, I did not condone this giveaway or yeah. talk with this company because somebody put something out of him doing a giveaway or some sponsorship." And it looked genuine. It looked convincing. It sounded a bit convincing. If you never seen Mr. Beast, you don't know, frequent his content, you would have really thought that Mr. Beast was running a scam on people with like this giveaway he was doing. So AI has got to the point now where it, it's to that point to where it's convincing. Hell, the writer strike that just happened in the clause to the writer strike. I don't know if y'all talked about this Monday, but in the clause to the writer strike, they have it to where these companies cannot use like i don't know if it's not use ai generated scripts and stuff like that or they can be replaced by ai generated scripts and stuff like that but it's at that point now where movies and shows are not allowing people like write that shit out like no nah, y'all can't use ai because it's good enough to take niggas jobs I, i'll say this and it is I, I talked about it yesterday on my stream so i won't to rehash those topics but ai ai is definitely getting uh better as time goes on um, I think that there should have always been some legislation around certain things, like even the Hollywood impersonators. The Hollywood impersonators should have been had some sort of licensing or fee that they should have to pay in order to impersonate some people. Um, if not, it should be punishable by law. But I, I can even say, at least from my side of the internet, and I think from B Souza's side of the internet too, um, like I'm seeing a pushback on too sharp too robotic too professional too perfect um and there are instances a lot of instances where people are just going back to things that sound or, or are unpolished or are rough or you know what i'm saying like yeah they're spending people are spending five thousand dollars to get a camera that has a film like footage on it which is backwards from what we were supposed to be going to people are going from 400 500 mics to you know, Yeti mics, which are ninety dollars. The the meta of using a webcam as opposed to a whole DSLR setup, et cetera, et cetera. So there yeah. there are some instances where, like, people are pushing back on these things that we're talking about right here. Even the uh, counter movement against Mr. Beast, I would say, is along the the same lines of like, yo, Mr. Beast videos, they're cool, they're fine, but like, they're overproduced. So there's this whole counter movement on YouTube of like lifestyle vloggers that are really cinematic and artistic with it and want to bring it back to the natural world and shit like that, that is coming so. back i've seen a lot more cinematic vlogs which is crazy because yeah. they told us b-roll b-roll is like the most useless thing that you can put in a youtube video but i ain't gonna lie i'll be watching a lot of vlogs with a lot of b-roll i don't know if you can see that <laughs> i'll be looking at the great lakes from georgia like b-roll is great for vlog. i don't when was there ever a time where b-roll wasn't good for vlog content in general like i don't i mean I, i'm i'm not denying that people probably had that stance of it's useless for it but i've always felt b-roll was perfect for vlog content i don't know the 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 theory is that like b-roll is supposed to be just an audience retention killer like so killer. yeah unless it's like ultimately like necessary maybe showing you not even showing you transitioning from scene to scene but if it's necessary like ultra necessary for the storyline then it makes sense but if you do it you're just giving them a chance where there's not any audio there's not any dynamic visuals or whatever and it's an opportunity for said person to you know click off yo people in chat are saying people still watch vlogs that's that's so interesting because i had this theory like a couple not even a couple pods, like throughout the year of like content is getting so extreme now where I feel like a lot of people are just picking sides between watching exclusively extremely long form content. So either live streams or podcasts or shit like that, or like they're just TikTok heavy, shorts heavy, you know what I'm saying? Like the, the art of like a YouTube video that's 10, 15 minutes long. I feel like that's kind of lost, but. I ain't gonna lie. I would, um, yeah, I do see somebody saying people still vlog. I would. I, I want to have a vlog channel, Loki. Always hey, for the that's did. The final pivot, bro. I, I a, saw. I saw him say that on on a vlog channel. Yeah, like I feel like if we did, let's keep it a call to say. If we did keep it a call to say, and we actually got to that point, I felt vlogging came with it. I feel like we would have to vlog at that point. I mean, that's the pinnacle. There's there's one dude, and I showed the the 
the lifestyle woman that I frequent her content. But there's one dude where like legitimately he got a hundred thousand subs in is that is that is that this is it? He got a hundred thousand subs in two months or something like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I told B Souls and Toasted about it. It wasn't this five month span. It was when he stopped doing these boxing videos. So probably like right around here, two three months. Was that one uh, vlog you did at the thrift store that blew him up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but but that's really all his content. This I'm not rich cinematic vlog. It's him vlogging at a, a thrift store. All his all his videos. Damn. It's just cinematic vlogs. You need to quit smoking those, man. Oh, you and this God now, so. What was that? I can't hear you. Low key, this look like an episode of like Atlanta. Like his, yeah, this should be looking like episodes of Atlanta. Have but you seen he... the behind the scenes on those vlogs though? Because I, I follow this uh, their like cinematic TikToker, and he like shows BTS on this shit. And I'm mm-hmm. looking at it, I'm like, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. This exactly right here is why people either just live stream. Or just do TikToks, bro. This is so much work to get one yeah. fucking angle, bro. And also, to me, the new vlogging now is IRL streaming, bro. Like, Fousey, with how problematic he is, that's a whole nother conversation. But I really do think, like, he's changed the game somewhat with how much he blew up off of that uh, IRL streaming month or a couple know. of months that he had. That's been a... That, that, is, that wave already came, and I'm not going to say came and went, but... That's why so many people are IRL streaming out versus vlogging. Cause mm-hmm. Ice Poseidon, if you don't remember Ice Poseidon, um, him and that whole gang. Yeah, you're not the that, first one. You're not the first one. But I'm saying those are the ones that really were the that's who really pushed the boundaries for IRL streaming that pushed it above vlogging, in my opinion. Like those guys doing what they did, they did this one um live event where they were live streaming. It was him and a group of people got a fucking RV and was just going across the country live streaming it and that's really what one super problematic a lot of shit happened and that was a part of why twitch became what twitch is now today but mm-hmm. stuff like that you're right what fuzi did that was just another step in what was already done by ice side and fuzi back then a lot of guys back then to push it past vlogging because i forget when it was but Vlogging was super big at one point. Everybody was a vlogger. Hell, mm-hmm. uh, I remember DDG had the whole LA scene and shit like that. Got flight out there. Everybody was vlogging. Casey nice. And then it just mm-hmm. it just stopped. Like niggas just yeah. got off. Like all the top vloggers got off of it, and niggas started streaming. Niggas started podcasting and thing like that. So, but that's yeah. what, that's what I'm saying though. I feel like the people who would want to be vloggers, like let's say five years ago, I think mm-hmm. those same people they just want to be IRL uh, streamers now because I, I feel like it's just an easier route. To do the same thing, you know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of these dudes have backpacks. You can take these same shots that you do. And ultimately, like, it is just about sharing your life and interacting with your community. So if you Mm -hmm. can find a way to cut through, you know, all these editing angles and editing, trying to find a title and thumbnail, it is corny. But, hey, I also have that take about live streaming. It it is the lazier route. You know, live streaming and podcasting is the lazier route as opposed to planning out videos Thinking about titles, thinking about thumbnails, editing, you know what I'm saying? Looking at analytics is just, yo, go live, entertain the masses, clip that shit up, mm-hmm. go live again. It, it is the easier route. So I, I think it's because I just don't have the attention span to consume a whole live stream, but the concept of watching an entire live stream just for, you know, this moment, this one moment, as opposed to you cutting that one moment and making it a big deal or whatever, I feel like that's that's you know strange to me. But hey. a- agents going on um like a five day stream right now. Did, did y'all see like his, his five movie? dates in five states? Yeah, five man. five dates in five states. Like literally, if this was three years ago, that would have been a video, like a twenty minute video, fully edited. You know what I'm saying? Yo, we'll lead edit this shit type shit. But now it's just and I and and I do get it. I think it's just one of the the thing that I don't like about content today is that. Things can be missed. Mm-hmm. Although we create can't miss, things can be missed. I, mm-hmm. I can, like, some of the stuff, and this is no disrespect to anybody I'm about to name. These are just the most popular creators, whatever. Like, some of the stuff that a has done in the past couple of years have been so can't miss. I mean, so so you can miss. And I'm only talking about from, like, a um, like a live streaming perspective. 
You mm-hmm. missed the fireworks thing. There were 40 other things that happened. If you, you know, it's so easy to get lost in translation. There's some folks that I hear, they'll say like, oh yeah, I dipped out of, I stopped watching Rage for like two months and then I hop back in and I, it's, it's almost like nothing has changed or whatever the case may be. Mm-hmm. I don't know. But I feel like for a lot of people, um, especially when they were doing the vlogging, mm-hmm. Casey Neistat had like some bingeable content and everything he did was can't miss. I had to watch it. If I didn't watch it, I wouldn't see the natural growth, the progression of his actual life, et cetera, et cetera. I ain't gonna lie, I felt the same way about uh this Call of Duty YouTuber Kozdiv. He had that's he had this whole little thing where he was literally vlogging him and his Call of Duty team, and I hooked. And it wasn't like they were doing crazy shit all the time. It was just watching the progression and growth of this Call of Duty team. These guys that play the game I love and I relate to, they got this fucking house. They're doing just fun shit. Not even crazy shit. It's just they're having fun. Today we're having a fucking cookout and y'all about to watch us put this cookout. Shit was just fun. So mindless funness. But I was going to ask y'all, when was the last time, if any, um, y'all watched the actual, yeah, shout out Team Caliber, TK shit. Shout out, shout out, shout out. Um, When was the last time, if any, Y'all watch the full stream. Like, I don't, I can oh, tell never. you. I, yeah, I'm about to say, I don't think I've ever watched a full stream. And when I say a full stream, I don't mean somebody who does like, and I wouldn't say like stuff we do, because I feel like all of us, when we stream, we stream hour, hour, 32 hours max. People that are streaming three, four, five hours. Have y'all ever watched the whole stream of them? I can't. I can't remember, bro. I ain't gonna lie. There, there might have been a stream where, like, I put on and then I accidentally fell asleep type shit, like an hour in. But no, it means actually watching it. And if you mean actually watching it, the answer is a hundred percent never. I never did. I, I've always, if it was somebody that streamed hella long, I'll always watch at max thirty minutes. Um, somebody like the only person I can remember where they streamed, and I would try to tune in and see as much as I could. Probably so Illuminati, and even then. I wouldn't watch the whole stream. I would get to a point to where I was like, all right, well, this shit's just getting boring or this nigga went to go smoke. So I'm about to dip. And I can't remember watching think, the whole stream. I think that is interesting too, though, because like when you look at the grand scheme of things, and then we, we've been on this topic for a second, but the grand scheme of things, if I'm watching from the Clips channel two, maybe three videos from your stream and your stream was ultimately eight, nine, ten hours, that's what I mean about like, the content that you're making is can miss. Like, I, the, you you only even clipped up three videos from that stream. Um, I don't know about the, can miss because some people just choose not to clip up certain things. I but I feel like you would say that that's at least from their perspective, it's not worth putting it up there because why wouldn't they put it up there if it was? You know what I'm saying? I mean, there's there's a, like copyright and shit like that, but I know that's not picky. I, go yeah. saying, I, go I, I think I think I think most of it is and while there are certain things, I think most of it is can miss um, the the four hours of you playing video games or three hours of you playing video games within that stream, that three hours of you reacting, but not really reacting to content. That's can miss um, you just going on babbling about some shit for 12 minutes. That's can miss. There's a lot of can miss when you do shit like this just because you feel like you have to boost your numbers up by being on stream for longer. I I, I don't know. I, I with me streaming a lot, I feel like I've I kind of see the difference now cuz like if I'm just chatting with chat like even for 30 minutes, I'm just going on a back and forth uh talking session with chat like that's not a clippable moment, you know what I'm saying? But like when I look at other like some of these streamers that's what they do for an hour damn near you know what i'm saying so you can say it's missable like it's it's missable content but when you're in it it's not really because it's literally a one-to-one interaction with you you know what i'm saying so uh, and, and with gaming too like i, I like if yeah. i play valorant for two hours maybe none none i haven't put up a valorant clip yet on my channel but as we're playing the game even if it's 2k like it's not missable content. No, if you, I'm if about you, to say that too. When it comes to gaming, I'm I feel like I only my only push could be of that two three hours of gaming. In that two three hours of gaming, it might not be something that I'm, I'm willing to clip and solo put that 15 minutes up on my channel. But that two to three hours of gaming, that could have been some funny ass shit that just you had to be there for. Like yeah. how we've done on on 2K on on here. Like we're not gonna post it, like clip it up and post it anywhere. But 
hey, man, you got to be there for when LKIB goes and plays team up because that's going to be some funny shit. But I do agree with everything else. If you about to sit down and eat you a bowl of fucking Cheerios and react to some shit and you're barely talking, that's some shit where it's like, all right, bro, you can... You could have ended the stream for that. Like at that point, why are you streaming that long? Where it gets to that point, I I do agree there. Uh, I won't I won't beat the dead horse on that one then. But I I feel like there's a lot of even the talking to chat for an hour. Sure, it, it might be entertaining, but is it something that I can miss? If now, you watch that stream regularly, no. But uh maybe. maybe I, it depends I, on the topic. It depends. How about on the topic. I say? Yeah, I don't. I don't. Yeah, but I know I know B Souls' opinion on the Dame trade. I need mm-hmm. now, really? No, I'm not saying now. I'm just saying like oh, I don't oh. know. that's what you spend. If that's <laughs> yeah. what you spend an hour on, that's some that's not that's some can't miss content. That, that's some can't miss conversation. Miss. But if but, it's but, ham, ham sandwich versus turkey sandwich for an hour, that's missable. I don't I don't need to hear that debate. Ham sandwich. Now, versus turkey sandwich. And to tsunami two 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 said it down there in the chat. I've been raiding some smaller streamers. Uh, we've been trying to hop into women streamers, hop, trop, trying to hop into men streamers. I will say the women streamers just be yapping. I ain't yeah. gonna lie. Oh no, nah, they be I was yapping. About to say chilling, but okay. Women, women streamers on Twitch be yapping. Don't say nothing, and like can't can't figure out why people stay in some of these chats only because they're just trying to pull off the cutesy image or. They're really not talking. Like they're looking at their thirty man chat, you know, waiting for somebody to say something. Uh, it's 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 not good at all, for real, for real. Jeez. Well, yeah, I know y'all don't want. I'll just I'll just start commenting. Hey, bitch, just just react to AMP already. Just pull the video. <laughs> God damn, what are we doing? What are, what are we waiting for? Start we, reacting, bitch. we rated a we rated a streamer uh, yesterday after my stream. First of all, we sat there and and. Look, looked at her do her thing. Oh, yeah. I think she said Mezzy. She said, oh, yeah, appreciate the, the raid, Mezzy. Appreciate the raid, Mezzy. We in here playing games. Which game should I play, guys? Which game should I play? And then her one person from her chat was like, will, will you play the Wade video? They called it a Wade, not a raid. Mm-hmm. Um, so then she had a pre-recorded raid video. Played that. She spent probably another five to ten minutes just yapping about games. Uh, well, the game can't be more than 10 minutes, but it can't be less than seven, guys. And at that point, everybody that rated left. She was back down to the 23 that she had. And I'm thinking to myself, dog, I gave you 15 minutes. You didn't deliver no content. Why would these people stay? Well, That's can miss. That right there is I can miss. But, I will say this. Uh, I don't I don't know if we're moving on. Chat, I I want to bring back Q and A this stream, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Maybe we don't bring it back after the stream, but I want to bring. The reason why is because on my stream, I watch some of our best TikToks, bro, from like 2022. So many of them came from the Q and A, bro. Q&A. I miss y'all, bro. I ain't gonna lie. So I'm gonna spam up the link right now. Come up, y'all. They not really. They not really trying to come up with questions. I don't know what happened to the LKIB multiverse. But you niggas fell off. I'm not gonna yeah. lie. We used to have like colorful characters that pulled up routinely, had questions, or entertaining. Now niggas just come up. Oh, oh damn! I didn't even know I was pulled up. Yo, what's up, guys? Um, I don't really got a question. Uh, Omar, is it pink or brown? I'm like, bro, what the fuck? Like, what am I supposed to do with that? What are we supposed? Yo, I ain't really have a question, but um. Yo, yo, do you think the Blazers can actually make the play in? Like, nigga, all right, bro, that's your question. And we just talked about the, I mean, poli- the political climate. I mean, they did used to do that, but that's what felt that's when it fell off. Oh, and now look at we got <laughs> He's still here. Yo, let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go, boys. What's hey, good, nice gang? Day. What's good, bro? Hey. Big, big Thanasis, yeah, big, <laughs> big Thanasis, <laughs> big Thanasis Oladipo, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he never left. <laughs> Even wait for us to drop this shit. Yeah, oh, bro, I, I wish, I wish I was on the pod when the dude whipped it out. I wait, never... you got a mustache now? Come yeah. on. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> hey, yeah. okay, 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 let's go, man. <laughs> How long ago was that incident, though? The the dude that whipped it out. Isn't that why you guys stopped doing the stream work? Oh my god! No, I don't know. 
I don't know what all, but thank oh, you no, for yeah, no. up. I'm not gonna hold you. I needed that laugh. I missed you, gang. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> oh my god. I needed what did you what did you have to say? <laughs> um honestly, I was gonna did you guys already talk about Drake? Because I joined in late. Did you guys talk about for all the dogs? No. Nope. All right, so what you guys thinking? It's dropping at 6 a.m. I was looking at the track list just now. 6 a.m. Yeah, I don't know why he's doing yeah, it. Yeah, I did see that. Yeah. He's like, sorry, streamers. Oh, so Pierre was supposed to do a uh, listening party too, and he's like, yeah. It's oh. canceled. Okay. I'm not <laughs> streaming at 6 a.m. <laughs> <So. laughs> What's the 6 a.m. for? I couldn't tell you. you yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> hey, all the dogs on the still at 6 a.m. That's, that's, that's what's going on. I'm going to be up. I'm going to be up. I'm going to be up. I'm going to be ready for school. No, um, no, I think this will be. I think. I think this will be the um, worst album that Drake has ever put out. You think That's so? Crazy. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. I think this is. I can't put my finger on it, but it feels rushed. I don't. I, I don't know why. I just can't put my finger. You on it. Back. I mean, is it, it's probably the pushback two weeks. I don't know. Because what, 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 what is this the worst album, album currently? It's honestly never mind, right? I mean, yeah. Really, so yeah, I, mean, I don't I'm, think, I don't I'm, think I'm, all dogs gonna be worse than that. Mm-hmm. I can't be. Wait, it's honestly, never, honestly, never mind. Is the Afro Beats? Yeah. yeah, it's like the house music, all this stuff. Yeah. Then, the one that dropped when the Celtics lost. I remember. I remember. That's like the memory. It's not even because of you. It's like the memories just are connected to me. I remember yeah. watching it last game, and then I'm, I turned on. I turned Super on L dick suck. That's, that's crazy. crazy. Way yeah, I'm not trying to. It's not even about that. I I wanted the Celtics to beat the Warriors. Like it doesn't mean that's not that's not that shit came out. Beatles when uh, the Celtics lost. That's <laughs> that's what that came out. Beatles. Yeah, Jimmy Cooks came out. Jimmy Cook, <laughs> fucking fuck. Hey, Jimmy Cook's drop. Steph start cooking. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there crazy. is not a notable song on this song album. Okay, I might. Uh... It's literally just Jimmy Cook's. That's real. Yeah. yeah. That's kind of fire. That's kind of fire. Yeah. Like, Wait, sticky is the name of the song. Sticky, yeah. You know a sticky. Oh, hanging on my neck. The bracelet matches the set. My brother's name. Is oh yeah, that song. Yeah, that's that TikTok shit. That's okay. what you did. Hey, hey. 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 Oh, boo. Oh, boo. oh boo. Okay, oh, boo. okay. Yeah. Oh, Get out of here. Yeah, no, no, no game. <laughs> Oh, I think. Right yeah, it was probably with my young bulls. TBM, you're a grown man. How you doing today? What's good? Yo, what's, what's up good, with y'all, bro? I miss y'all boys. You feel me? I'm out, I'm out in the city for real. You feel me? That nigga is really 6'5". <laughs> yeah. But, uh, Still 6'5". <laughs> what's the wave, though? What's the wave, Omar? We on 2K tonight? No, we are not. Out there, bro. Where, no, where the people at, bro? We're not on 2K. We are on nap. I'm going to the gym after this, and we're going to sleep. That's cool. That's you cool. on campus? Yeah, I'm on campus right now with it. Let me. Well, what? Go huh? go inside. Why are you? <laughs> nah, cause like my my roommate getting humpy right now, and he let me get humpy yesterday, so I gotta respect him. For me. Humpy? So, yeah. So you just gonna walk around outside? You ain't gonna go do something? Nah, now nah, I'm about to go to a function, but I'm waiting for these girls to get ready. So Why you ain't got your glasses on, man? I don't wear them shits no more, big boy. Come on. So you just out here naked, can't see. Nigga, I got contacts. What you talking about? I still remember the first cue that you were in, man. God. Yo, remember that shit when I said, fuck Pokemon? What they oh, talking about? Wow. Okay, okay, I didn't remember okay. that. Man. Okay, okay, see. Yo, that's a Twitch ambassador. See, and that's, that's, that's why you can't have these guys up here. There's a couple um, of new guys in there. Oh, Yo, he's not new, but. Yo. Omar, how you feel about me ratioing, ratioing you every tweet? How do you feel about that? Every tweet, I spice better than sexy red. You been knew this. You been knew this. You didn't ratio me on that tweet though. Go look at it. No, you ratioed me on the response. <laughs> of course, I'm not gonna ratio you on the response. I don't have like you feel. But no, like, you did. You you ratioed me on the response. The original both times, by the way. Both me. times. What do you so say? Is this what you came up here to say? Yeah, like how you feel about that, bro? <laughs> Little bro. Oh shit! I I promise you, I don't care. <laughs> like what's your bull? Yo, these little guys trying to send us now, bro. What the fuck about, is going bro? on? Nah, cause I remember the first Q and A you was on, bro. You said like like fifty times that we was cooking you, bro. Yeah. <laughs> and he's still fifteen. Like, That's what's crazy like, about this. No like, one's fifteen, bro. How old you? How old are you? You graduate in next year. Trust. So you're 20, 20, 2024, bro. 2024. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, so yeah. you're 17. Yeah. 
reason. I uh, get out of here. Get out of here. Nobody yeah. cares about you being that age. I was saying I ratio you with you, gang. Yo, yeah, what's up, y'all? How you what's doing, good? Good. good. I'm doing straight, man. I'm doing straight. You look nervous. I didn't think I was gonna get up here. That's why. So you know, I've been watching y'all for a minute. I just want to say I really appreciate y'all. You know, and especially you, Dama, because you be shining a light on the young players. I was watching a vid you did about ticket trash talking Tyrese. Mm-hmm. I really appreciate that, bro. Because you know, it'd be like I I know about Tyrese, but I ain't know he was like that for real. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate you. Appreciate. Where are you, you from? Man. Where are you from? What I can do, uh, Louisiana. So there's no oh the the Pelicans. Okay. Yeah, I I don't watch Pelicans ball. Why not? Big Z, not the little one. Nah. He barely when that, it, when that nigga play. The, you're, a, you're a Lakers fan. You're a Lakers fan or something like that. Nah, I don't like have a specific team. I like players. All right, so who's your favorite five young players in the league right now? Five yeah. young players. Mm, all right, all right. Ant, of course. Mm-hmm. Um, you look nervous still, bro. Stop. Oh my, you you on my dick. You on my dick, bro. But it'll probably be like Ant. Mm. Garland, if you still wait, Garland is still young. Garland, is yeah, he's young. he's he's a young player. All right, and it'd be like Lori Marketing because I still had hope for him. I'm happy he showed out last year. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really have any other two. Like that's just like the three that I. You really not gonna say Halliburton? Um, mm. nah, because like I said, I didn't really like pay attention to him that much. I knew right. about him, but I didn't mm-hmm. pay attention to him. All right, man. Watch you some. Shay watch you some J two. Oh, Shay's a dog. Watch you some Paolo. Watch you some uh, Cade, Jalen Duran, uh, Jay, uh, Jalen Green. Watch you uh, Amen Thompson. I'm telling you, buy the stock early. He's gonna be Amen. great. Amen. Uh, what you call a uh, sore Thompson? He's gonna be good defensively. Singoon, baby Yoke. Just a, get you. Go watch the film, man. Oh, Devin Vassell. I'm telling you now. Watch Devin Vassell. People don't know why he got paid, but he got game. All right, I appreciate it. But also, can I ask a question? I don't know if I have like much time. I know y'all got the show and shit. Go ahead, go ahead. All right. So it's really like advice. So I got mm-hmm. a job. I work with my uncle. And like it's cool and I like what we do, but the work not consistent. Yeah, all that. And mm-hmm. I'm considering going to get another job, but I kind of feel bad because he gave me this when I really need it. Cause I didn't have like shit at all. Yeah. The job I'm thinking about going to get is with you know, like uh, qualifications that he ended up paying for me to get. And it was like a $2,000 class, like dealing with fiber and shit. I'm trying to go get this job, but I don't know if I should because I feel bad. Because like he's older also and he really, like sometimes he'd be needing me to go out there with him. So, How long uh, you been working with? Uh, about six months. This is when I got uh, discharged from the Air Force. Mm-hmm. Oh, you was, you was down bad. Yeah, I was very down bad. Oh man, but but what, what's it called though? It how? What do you mean by inconsistent? Like y'all go and do work every two weeks? Like, all right, like so this pay period, I probably worked like five days, like in the past two weeks. But there's been mm-hmm. a, a pay period before it was like I ain't worked for the whole pay period, and then a week after that. Yeah. Oh hell no! That, so uh, then, like a job. I mean, at, I'm gonna say find another job, and at the most, just have a conversation with your uncle. It's your yeah. uncle, and you be real with him and be like, "Look, I appreciate the opportunity, appreciate everything you did, but nigga, I got bills. I can't pay bills if I'm not working." And yeah, well, I ain't I'm paying. Kidding. I ain't paying bills, and like I'm 19, I still live with my parents and shit. So at some point, uh, you gotta take care of yourself, bro. Okay. Hey, why? Tell him you're paying bills. Why? But just be real with him and be like, yo, man, I just need money and this isn't doing it. Just have a conversation with him. It's your uncle. And if, if he really loves you, which it sounds like he does, he will understand or he should understand. If he don't, fuck him. It's about the bag season. All right. Appreciate that. Appreciate that, man. Yeah, man. Fuck your uncle, man. Oh, wow. I thought that's what we was getting to. I thought we were saying fuck that nigga uncle. I, y'all, y'all be leaving me out there to dry. He was talking to oh, 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 okay. My damn froze. <laughs> bad. My bad. My bad. My bad, bro. My bad. My bad, man. My bad. All right. Okay. <laughs> Sup, y'all. Sup. Hi. What's good? What's good, man? Okay. I've been watching you guys for like a year so far, and so far, shit's been good. I like it. So, it. okay. 
I got like two questions. I wanted to put a third one up, but I wasn't able to. So just do two for now. Just okay, okay. Let me just. Die. You're good, bro. You're good. You're good. All right. Okay. So the first question is like, I'm in like, uh, I'm in university, but and it's like I'm learning for film stuff. So, mm -hmm. and I'm mm -hmm. doing some three D modeling right now. But okay, let me say my shit. What's the one movie or media or any other type of entertainment you like but everyone else hates? Um, media or form of entertainment? Yeah, any any form of entertainment. I want to say, oh. movie, but I was like, you know what? It could be mm -hmm. anything. Yeah, really. Mukbangs and Feet Finder. <laughs> Don't get it. Don't yeah. get it at all. No, one, take one that you like, take you like, the ones that you like, but the ones that you like, but oh, I thought you everyone said I hate. Hey. Oh, oh, my bad. Oh, oh, Jesus, I'm a freak. Oh my god. No, I, I thought it was the reverse. I thought you said shit everyone likes, but you hate. Oh Lord. Oh man. No. <laughs> Oh god, I'm gonna go like a freak. Oh man, no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I would say, oh, shit. I would say, um, oh, Call of Duty, Call of Duty trolling videos. Still, I, I still get a kick out of those, and. <laughs> <laughs> TikTok dances, bro. Fuck with the TikTok dances. The Uber, Uber, Uber. I know it looks crazy watching that. <laughs> oh my god! All right. I'll, I'll, uh, yeah, yeah. Y'all yeah. have your opinions, or Omar. <laughs> Oh, oh, like what you, what you like that no one else like? I was gonna say Star Wars, but um, I like, I, <laughs> I like realistic uh pornography, just for the words, just you know, erotica type. E. Oh yeah. my god! <laughs> Card trolling videos and like movie breakdowns, like movie breakdown, video breakdowns, anime breakdown, shit like that. Right, Recaps right. type things. That's, that's what, cool. That's, that's what cool. I like. That's, that's cool. All right. Uh, Beasles? Oh, I said TikTok dances. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Dead ass, bro. Me? I fuck with the yeah. TikTok dances. For me, the only movie where I can be like, you know what? Weiss and a few times. And I was like, everyone, even when everyone hates it, I, I don't mind it. It's from the MCU, Thor Love and Thunder. To be honest, I watched it twice with my friends and once with my brother. And I was like... I'm I mean, like Love and Thunder. That's the one with... Uh... Gore the God Butcher. Yeah, Gore the, mm. yeah, Gore the God Butcher. You like that shit? Why? Why? I mean, to be honest, though, like here for me, I'm gonna be honest with you. Total bias. That that uh, that's it. It was just like Thor. Yeah, the end of high school and and everything. I watched that movie and that shit lift up my spirits because I was like, I'm gonna miss all my friends and like I'm gonna be going to a whole another area to be able to learn this stuff. So it's like, yeah, watch it and I was like, you know what? Shit's shit's cool. I'm not gonna say it's the greatest movie of all of all time. It's it's mm -hmm. still like pretty bad, but when someone says, "Yo, would you watch it?" I'm like, "I watch it again." But it's like if someone told me, "Yo, it's the greatest movie," I was like, "Nah, fuck no." Okay, so so essentially, you just got memories, like it's yeah, like, memories. It's, it's like okay. it's like for me, it's like you know, like I wouldn't say it's great. I wouldn't say like okay, I'll give you reasons why <laughs> to some extent, in my opinion, but I wouldn't say, "Yo, is this great?" Nah, <laughs> to be honest, not really. Yeah, I got, what, are you, what are you gonna be for Halloween? Um, uh, to be honest, I was thinking of like. Getting ordering this Yeti costume, this giant, humongous Yeti costume. But to be honest, though, um, I got nothing. I, I'm just focusing mm -hmm. on, on other stuff. Like, okay. to, to honest, I'm just excited what Halloween brings for other people, not really myself. You know, I like seeing other people happy. Even that's a unique that. answer. Yeah, that's unique. <clears throat> okay, well, what's your second uh, question? I, okay, my second question is, what if your friends had a superpower but you didn't? What would you do? Exploit that nigga. What? <laughs> okay. I'll give you an example, right? I have a long ass day, right? I'm over here. I just got finished with work. I'm coming back. I go upstairs to like to my couch or everything, sit down, relax it. Out of nowhere, I see my homeboy. Let's call him Darius. Darius comes in. Oh, yo, man, look what I can do. Fire manipulation. Or better yet, no, telekinesis. The minute that that, that 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 nigga lifts up a table just like that with his bare bare ass like no with no hands at all and just mm -hmm. like with, with literally mind powers, I'm sitting here just going, bruh, he about to be in the next chronicle. Like I like like this 
we we, we legit have a Jedi slash Sith, Sith in our hands. You know what I mean? But so it's like I'm sitting here just like, dang. I got a I got a better I'm one. Moving I got a better one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like like it gets to the point. I'm, I'm so good. Yeah, I'm killing. I think y'all better than me. I, I, like, and y'all like, are better than me, so I'm moving yeah. up, bro. I feel left out. I got a, I got a better one. I got a better one. Your friend has the ability to shape shift into anything, anyone, whatever the case may be. It's been a couple months since you had sex. You're lonely. You need to get it off. He can transform into anybody. He can transform into anybody. He's got the ability to transform into Ice Spice. What are you doing? Comes up and goes, oh, yo, man, yo, man. No, what are you doing, though? Yo, what, what, what are you doing? Okay. What are you doing? Okay. I ain't gonna lie. It's like, yo, make your ass thicker. See you at 10 p.m. Yo, Just man. make his ass thicker? Yeah, that's yeah. We're gonna leave it. Oh we're gonna God. leave it. Yo, he didn't even say. He didn't even say turn into yo. ice spice. He just said, "Hey, yo, hey, 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 Darius, make your ass, make your ass thicker, Darius. Thicker, Darius. Make you don't see you at ten. What the fuck? Because my hey, Darius, ass. make your ass thicker and be back here in a Yeti costume." <laughs> right. He legitimately could have um had to turn into a woman. I don't know. What the freak his frog is? <laughs> I don't know what the freak that nigga is. That was yeah. Kermit, bro. That was Kermit. The freak is frog, bro. Oh um, let's do one more. Kermit. Let's what do one more because honestly, we ain't got too much to talk about. Um, these are great. Who is Peanut Head? He look like he moving around too much. Oh shit! <laughs> hey, I know y'all said don't do the oh shit, but I dead ass oh shit. All right. I had to say my glasses. No, nah, your prescription high. You need to put them shits back on. Go ahead. Yeah, nigga, I'm not gonna lie, because I cannot see no more. Um put them back on. Why'd you take them off? <laughs> no, because because I, I wanted to. No. Nah. I've been staring at the screen for too long. Uh, yeah, I get it. I get it. Okay, okay. Right, let me go ask, ahead. let me ask my question. Um, okay, so was there <laughs> you on dick? It's okay. It's okay. Go ahead, go, go. All right, cool. Was there ever a time where y'all? All right, what's up? Was there ever a time where y'all were about to give up on the pod? And what was it for all of y'all specifically? Where uh, it was just like too much. About to give up on the pod? That's a good question. I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm easy. With you. you you I'm, was you was lame as hell in the YouTube comment sections. Yeah, I'm sorry. I got my time now. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, me too. Nigga, I wasn't even hating. Honestly, you did exactly what I thought you was gonna do with the Daquan shit, and it wasn't even a diss. I just thought you was gonna do what you did. Fuck. The <laughs> detail been in for a minute. I, I can't did. wait to let this motherfucker know. Wait, wait, Nigga, wait. me too, me. Hey, Damo, I fuck with you, even in PC. Even wait, you be, having, you be having me dead arguing with Ticket. I don't even understand. What, what are you? What are you saying? What did? What's, what's the issue? Okay, so we were. I had commented something. Somebody had said something dumb as fuck about what you, what you did, even though you didn't do anything with the Daquan situation, right? And I was like, honestly, Amizi did exactly what I thought he would do, which was just watch, watch what was going on, and let uh souls cook. I damn near forgot your name. My fault. And let souls cook. And then you responded, yeah, me too. And that shit just felt mad sassy. And I was just like, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> and so I come oh, back. Oh, you were too like, sassy. I'm just like, all right, bro. I'll see your response video. Who says I'm going to make a response video? Nigga. And then your ass made a response video. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> and then I say something on that. And you say, you got me. <laughs> <laughs> I had enough. I had enough. I had no, enough. he sassed the fuck out of you. I ain't gonna lie. Oh like, that was yeah, sass- no, I, I feel it, bro. I feel it, bro. That was, sass- that was sassy as fuck. <laughs> that was sassy as fuck. I ain't even, I ain't even throwing this. Cases, you sassed him out, bro. Come on, dude. God. He <laughs> said, <Sassed him. laughs> <laughs> you got me. Wait, so did you know this? You just gonna get sassy? I thought you was being sassy. What the fuck? Did you not? Did you not hear at the beginning of the podcast where I said I literally trolled in all those? Comments? I know. That's why I was like, you said that. I was like, that's exactly <laughs> what this nigga did. Now he really <laughs> mad. Oh <laughs> yeah. Me too. Wait. So he wasn't being sassy. What the fuck? <laughs> I knew he was. Who trolling, was sassy, trolling me? Oh, shit. 
Yo, I ain't gonna lie. Are you Feats' brother? You look like Feats, so like that. I don't know what that is. Look, okay, okay, okay. I do not know Ball. What's Feats' name? Latoya? I don't know. <laughs> you look like her. <laughs> I look like Latoya Feats. Um, is was Feats? it? No mind. Is Feats her name? It's <laughs> is it in her name? Like at all? Middle? Where you live? Where you live? Where you live? Oh, his middle name? Really? Her middle name is Feats. Latoya Feats. Ray, I don't know. <laughs> but all your feet in the whip is crazy. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Is that her surname? Is that her name? I have not answered my question. Your feet, right? All right, to answer your question for me, I ain't gonna lie, when we switched to Patreon and the numbers went the fuck down, I was like, okay, yeah, this is just another failed project, okay? Uh, is Patreon not valid? Is it no, just like it, not it, a it, good There's some more context Patreon. to it. Uh, yeah, essentially. You said what demo? So essentially, we were uploading on YouTube, right? We were uploading on YouTube. I think we were streaming on YouTube too. And at some point, we decided, um, "Yo, let's stop uploading on YouTube. Let's just make the podcast audio and Patreon only, and just upload clips." Oh, that's insane! Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> that's crazy. The numbers went down. We was doing that shit for a couple months. I was like, "Ah." Uh, oh, y'all did that for man. a month. Yes, we did that for a little Oh, Omar bit. wasn't yeah. a part of this? this is Hell no. No, 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 no. Nigga, please. He wouldn't out. let that shit happen, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie, bro. That shit wouldn't even got past the initial thought. Boy, what? Got past the hey, 10 day would have been fine. Yeah, I, I, you know, at that point, I was like, okay, uh, I tried with this podcast. I'm gonna try again in two years, okay? Yo, <laughs> 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 Hey, that's funny. <laughs> hey, I'm glad he did it. I'm glad he didn't scrap yeah. it, because, boy. That would have been crazy. Nah, for me, almost quitting. I don't think there was ever a time where I almost quit. Um, now nah, I ain't gonna lie. There was a time where I thought about it. Uh, it was around the time we had internal conversations about uh, savings. <laughs> and we was like, yeah, you know what? For the next couple months, let's just everybody all in as a group. Just everybody. <laughs> oh, fuck, don't man. touch nothing. Everybody. No, next, straight like, invested. Hey, we invest in everything into the pod. New cameras, new lights, new everything. We're bringing on. We're we're paying people. We just don't take nothing. Me. Okay. <laughs> hey, month one went by. Month one went by. Hey, you know, I'm a team player. Month two. Okay. Hey, I see the vision. That shit hurt. Month three. <laughs> hey, that third month. Hey, look, y'all, listen. I ain't gonna hold you. I got a baby on the way. <laughs> we got. <laughs> yeah, it's real fun. We gotta do something. We gotta rethink this month. Can we do half and half? Can like half the bot take some this month and half the next the next month? Can we work this out? Well, other than that, now nah, I've always been like all in relatively. Hey, I say this first of all for the, the Patreon thing. If I was there, I dead ass would have said, "Hey, you see the Patreon or me." I let you know right now. <laughs> you see the Patreon or I'm leaving this bitch. And honestly, if they would have said Patreon, I would have been, hey, <laughs> next six YouTube videos, blasting, let's keep it up. No, let me stop. But I would have always heard that, okay. Patreon wasn't, like, the best for content creators as far as, like, just making money. No, pa- Patreon's good. It's just the fact that we took the full podcast and made it private, essentially. Like, the uh... only thing motherfuckers would see was were, were clips. You could pay for the Patreon for the full thing, but like with video, or you can listen on Spotify and iTunes for free. That's a primary. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. That's all. Um, I'll say two. And before, before last thing, I say this before I say what uh my quit moment was. Hey, I go lie. I am probably the person that makes the most. I'm about to quit moments out of anybody, because. Yeah. I've had enough. No, no, no. It'll be that. It'll it'll be some vague text at like two in the morning. Like, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. We're slagging. We we need uh, or That's I ain't toxic. gonna lie. So, somebody <laughs> need to get fired. Somebody need to get fired around here. Like, we need to make some changes. Hey, I said that after that Caleb message. I said, yeah, we restructuring. I, well, I ain't never said we restructuring yet. I ain't gonna lie. So I know. Rez is over there. That wasn't even my <laughs> takeaway from that call, and I was like, "It wasn't. What, what the fuck are we restructuring for? What the fuck?" Rez is on eggshells <laughs> right now. Rez is on eggshells talking about some restructure. Like, oh my god, I just moved. Um, <laughs> nah, the amount of times, no, nah, what killed me? The amount of times will, the amount of times something good will happen. The amount of times we will like take a step up, and very next day. Yo, I go lie, there was a period of time we were having way too many meetings. <laughs> no, 
Oh, we can never have too many meetings. <laughs> no, because we have like a great like two weeks. Oh my God, super chats is up. You know what I'm saying? We just gained twenty thousand subs. Okay, we got to have a meeting. Game plan. Time to meet. <laughs> hey, Monday, right after the pod or before the pod, don't matter when. We got to have a meeting. We got to talk about how we about to change and- things up. And we changing up everything. I was about to say that's the one that really kills us. <laughs> but whatever reason, me, yeah, we're changing everything fucking up. Um, I don't. I wouldn't say I had a meeting or a, a moment that was just like, ah, uh, I'm about to legitimately walk out. But there has been times where I've been like, and this is me being honest, honest. There has been times where I was like, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Everybody not pulling their weight. And then I'm calling a meeting. I ain't gonna lie. And, and oh, I thought you was about to say you was getting ready to kick niggas off. I was like, damn. Ah, uh, no, nah, I, I, it's never, it's never been of that. It's just been like I felt like you know what? Ain't no reason why I should be doing all this. Let's have a meeting. It's time, bro. It's another time because this and, shit ain't gonna fly. And I'm gonna let you know now, as the person who was on the receiving end of you not pulling your weight, you could tell immediately when he called the meeting exactly what it was gonna be about. He would. Right, if you scroll up in the group chat. Amen. So, uh, when was the last time I said something in the Discord? <laughs> <laughs> niggas start going off. Check- hey, niggas start doing checklists. Hold on, let me go to topics. Ah, oh, damn. Okay, let me go to the Discord. Every time, oh, every, hey, it's about to be hey, two times where it was like, oh fuck, what the fuck is it? It was that time where I forgot what the fuck was going on, but I remember me Souls was there. I don't think Sage was there. Me Souls was there, and he, and this nigga Omar. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I did that just to see if y'all was like, when y'all told me. <laughs> nah, see, that's that toxic girlfriend. Shit. It was, the, it was the MVP shit. It was the MVP record. It was a Thursday night. And I was like, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I just, I just, we just closed out. Just see what y'all would say the next day. See if anybody would go, was gonna notice. I was, I was, yo, dead serious. We dead ass ended everything like that and was about to leave. And somebody was like, hey, yo, wait, don't we got like a, we got like MVP shit, right? This nigga Omar, hey, I'm gonna keep it hot. I was I wasn't gonna say nothing because I wanted to see how serious y'all was about it. <laughs> he was like, "Oh my god, niggas, yeah, niggas got us in the chewing fans." Oh, is that where that started? Yeah, yeah that bro. And anytime Omar is not on the pod, we're like, "Oh shit, this is the chewing." I remember. Okay, we gotta, I think it was like, hey, what's the topics looking like? Okay, Cruz, hold on, send me them topics. We gotta read them. Okay, okay. Like, yo, three days before he'll be like, "Yo, look, I'm letting y'all know I'm not gonna be able to make it Monday." Nigga, Monday come around. All right. This nigga Omar is purposely not here just to see what we gonna do and see how the topics go. Cause the next day, hey guys, I missed. I know I missed that part, and I got some notes. Hey man, <laughs> hey, no, like, this nigga's at the tuning exam. Bro. He's testing I, us. These are tests. I remember one episode specifically where y'all were like, no topics for like the first thirty minutes. It's just you, Souls, and Sage just fucking chatting and y'all are just like omar's watching this and just upset oh and i damn sure was i know <laughs> I think we talked about bas- uh, this was a uh, that might have been at a point where like we were dead ass trying to go away from basketball and you so were I like think, please like, some, talk about basketball yeah 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 I, th- I think some crazy shit happened and we were like okay yeah omar's not here Okay, substitute teacher time. It was moderately crazy, too. That was the thing that really pissed me off. I think I even came in on the stream yard, too, on the yeah, link. Yeah. I, you did. The coach got fired. <laughs> no, this is big news. We got to talk about this. Okay, Monty Williams got fired. <laughs> what does this do for the sun? This is all my boys on the stream yard. Yeah. Oh, my God. Uh, pissed. <laughs> But, All right, Malik. We appreciate you, my guy. All right, man. Put your glasses back on, dog. I know Let's you do one more that we can do a roll call, man. I know that nigga cannot oh, see. My God. Um, who's down there looking scrumptious? Have we seen Zach before? I don't think so. We you might muted, though. Huh? You muted Zach. What up, man? What's How good? you doing? You in your living room? Nah, man. I'm at a hotel right now. I was about to say oh, the pictures shit. is crooked as fuck. Why? Why is the picture all the way to the right? In the frame, it's like I don't know. Oh, okay, that's the it's design. Not right? Yeah, that's the design. Okay, okay, okay. But yeah, no, I, I was coming to ask. I was like, "What's one time where y'all like really knew y'all had made it?" In this mm. YouTube shit, or just in general? Just like YouTube shit and in general, like I don't think we made it yet. I mean, for me, well, if you feel like you have, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. For me personally, uh, I would say it really set in. Should I guess a DreamCon? Like walking around DreamCon and motherfuckers generally put like 
pull you aside or walk up on you. Yo, oh my god, yo, taking pictures and shit. Come on, and taking pictures with people, niggas asking yeah. you to sign shit, and niggas pulling up stuff you said that you don't remember you said. Oh, that shit was going on, going crazy. Yo, I can't believe. <laughs> That you would say that about Sierra. What the fuck? I don't even remember what you said. Who are you? <laughs> what did I say something about Sierra? No, I'm about to say, you yeah. Know that, I know that big. That was the main <laughs> thing. Don't remember what you said at all. And they talking to you like about it. Me. Like it was just yesterday. And I'm going with it. I'm like, yeah, I said it. And her nose is big. How about that? It is big. <laughs> you just got to go with it. But that's probably the only time I really thought like. It, it felt like I made it for real. So, yeah. Drink on. Okay. For me, the, the first time was when the Celtics... uh got me to uh, a Celtics Suns game, and they got me, like, backstage access and some shit, and they got me a show for it, you know what I'm saying? Drove in the, in the caddy, bro. That shit was, that shit was fire, bro. Did the nigga wreck? Yeah, I was about yeah, to say this. Yeah, yeah. Ran, ran a red light. We got T-boned. I was a kid in the other car. Luckily, no injuries, but, um, okay. hey, man. That was he my hit you, moment. The, the other car hit you, or you hit, the, the, the Uber driver hit the car? We, we ran a red light. The or Uber he, driver he, ran a red light. Yeah, it wasn't even the Uber. Like, it was a straight up, like, you know what I'm saying? Show oh, first, show like, first. Of yeah, five yeah. Fish, five fish. yeah, he had a suit on, you know what I'm saying? We were in a cat, Cadillac, uh, what's the big one? Escalade. Escalade, Escalade. yeah, we were in an Escalade. Oh, shit, y'all we, somebody we, up. We, we was honestly having a great conversation, to be honest with you. And then he zoned out because of the conversation we were having. So he ran. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm being dead at. You know what's crazy? Like, literally two minutes beforehand, bro, he literally yeah. said, Yo, I, listen, man, I've driven Oprah. I've driven Mark Wahlberg. I've driven sucking his own dick. That nigga sucking his own dick. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've been doing this for 30 years, and, like, I've never an accident. (laughs) No no way you just said that, bro. So he ran the red light, because he he looked back for literally two seconds, and we were like, yo, that's a red light. You are not stopping. So he ran through it. They got T-boned by a sedan. So, yeah. I've never heard that part of this story. I've never ever. heard it either. Like, I've, heard it, I've heard this other story for years. He's never once told me. He never went into detail about it. I don't know the reason that nigga wasn't paying attention. <laughs> um, what's it called? Yeah. I'll say, uh, <laughs> I'll say my, That's the moment. Guy Lewis, man. Oh my God. The moment was probably either the plaques or specifically last December. Uh, Last December was like a huge, 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 huge month. And you know what's crazy? I, I'll even say, all right, the plaques, us getting the plaques last December or this past month. I think this past month was like a damn, like, we really can do it. Transferring platforms, success transferring platforms. On my individual channel, numbers have gone like up. Like, all y'all boys going up. Yeah. Like, that shit means something. I ain't gonna lie, so yeah, yeah. it's been recent, but good question, Zach. Good question. No oh, problem. Me. Appreciate you. Appreciate man. you. Appreciate y'all. Love the pie, man. Thank appreciate you. it. Appreciate it. Yeah, we got right, Play some music, man. Let's do a roll call real quick, man. Um, the music that I'm about to play is about to be hella crazy. Oh, this is the song. <sighs> you got a woman just play that around. Shout out to Andrew for the gift. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. I think that's it. Yeah. You got a woman. <laughs> Go ahead, play that. That goop. Goop. What the fuck is that? That was twenty minutes ago. I'm just playing really? something. Is that a dick? Um. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Play that around your woman. I've been listening to that for a little minute now. I didn't. I didn't even realize it was. It was hot on TikTok till my girlfriend said something today. For real, for mm-hmm. real. I really did not even know. My uh, girl be on TikTok and literally beside me. All I hear is. I'm like, she she looks at me. Oh, babe, we gotta do this dance. I don't speak French. What? I don't speak French. What are you talking about? Who the fuck is we? I don't. Yeah, I don't. I don't, know. I don't know about any of that. I don't gotta do anything. I'm not. That's not what I, I look. Niggas is shaking ass. I'm not shaking ass unless it's on the pot. I'm sorry, but um. Oh my god. <laughs> I did want to say before we got into anything. I, I did say this earlier, and somebody in the chat reminded me. So I do need to publicly because this is where a platform where I did do this. I need to publicly apologize to Jordan Poole. Um, yeah, gang, I gave you false false blame. It was not your fault at all. You got punched in the face for absolutely no reason. Uh, Draymond Green was 100% in the wrong, uh, 1,000% in the wrong. 
Now, with Draymond, I can't empathize with the things you were going through off the court. I get that, but there's no justification for punching your teammate in the face. Jordan, hey, man, you ain't do nothing wrong, gang. So I, I do need to apologize because this was a platform where I was, he deserved it, pretty little light-skinned nigga. Yeah, punch him in the oh face my again. God. So I do, I, I, I will walk it back and apologize publicly. The, the disrespect was loud, so the apology needs to be louder. I'm sorry, nigga. I'm sorry. I apologize. Yeah, I think uh, for those that don't know what Don was talking about, uh, apparently Gilbert Arenas has the inside scoop. Now, could Gil have just lied about all that? You know, hey. 100%. It, is, it is what it is. But he apparently explained what happened between the Jordan Poole, Draymond incident. So essentially, um, long story less long, they had a practice uh, on like a Monday. We'll just say it was a Monday. And at that practice, Draymond, you know, they were winning or whatever. They're going back and forth or whatever. And uh, Curry or Steve Kerr gives Jordan Poole the battery to just, you know, let loose. Just let that dog out. Um, and so they're hooping. And Jordan Poole is popping his shit, hooping, apparently looking like MJ, going crazy, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, but in this fives, uh, first team wins. First squad wins. Curry, you know, hits the last shot after Draymond misses a layup. Curry hits the last shot. Jordan Poole goes to the sideline. Yeah, you getting 30, 30 carrying you, you like a backpack. That's an expensive backpack. You an accessory, blah, 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 blah. The punch doesn't happen that day where they're actually talking shit. Mm-hmm. They come to the practice house the next day. Jordan Poole is quiet. Draymond is popping shit that whole day. Going crazy that whole day, apparently. And then um, oh shit, they get into a situation where they're closer and Draymond punches Jordan Poole. Jordan Poole didn't say anything to antagonize, nothing like that. He goes in the locker room, Draymond, crying in the locker room about the situation. Or really, not even about the situation, but just about life and stuff like that. Apparently, something happened at home earlier that morning with his child and his baby's mother or whatever. And he just that pent-up anger just punched Jordan Poole. Mm-hmm. Um, but no, I, I do agree with Damo. Uh, I was a part of those people, too. Um Draymond was gonna punch anybody that day, I guess is what it looked like. I mean, that's yeah. that, that's weird as fuck. He's gonna punch anybody. Yeah, I wanna apologize to Jordan Poole as well. I ain't gonna lie, I, I cause I saw that shit live, bro. Man, that yo, that story had a lot of twists and turns. <laughs> Shout out to Gil for being a great storyteller, by the way. Um, I do wanna ask y'all this, cause I said during my stream that like Draymond is still primarily in the in the wrong, majority in the wrong, but it still didn't come off as a situation where Draymond just punches anyone for no reason. Now, I got a lot of backlash in the comment section for defending Draymond Green. Um, do y'all think what, uh, you know, what is allegedly, like, what allegedly happened, does that show that Draymond Green is the type of dude to just punch someone? Or was there, like, a Because I felt like there was an actual reason. So to say that he just punched someone for no reason, I felt like to put that label on him is kind of... It's kind of eh when there actually was a reason. But I understand the reason isn't just, to be honest with you. It is is not just. You should keep that shit at home. But again, to just put this label on Draymond that he just punches people out of nowhere. I just felt like with the context of what happened that morning, I think that's a pretty extreme label to put on him. I mean, I said the same thing on Player's Choice. and Niggas was giving me pushback about how that's no excuse. I'm not saying it's an excuse. I just understand why you did it. People yeah. can do the wrong thing all the time. People can do something wrong, and you can acknowledge that it's wrong, acknowledge that you shouldn't do it, and also acknowledge, I understand why you did it. Your mother's sick. You need the money. You rob a store. You get caught. You shouldn't have robbed a store, but you needed to get money for your mom being sick, and that's how you felt you needed to do it. Your back was against the wall. I get that. I'm not sympathizing. I'm not giving you an excuse. I'm just understanding where your mind was. I get, I, I've had my fair share, y'all know, I've had my fair share of baby and mama drama. I promise you, if we was doing Let's Keep It a Buck in person, and I was going through that shit, I was going through on spaces, I would not have been in character when we, if we were doing live pods. I would have been out of it. I would have been easy to set off. I get that. That doesn't justify him doing it. You shouldn't right, punch yeah. your teammate regardless. But yes, I do think that it is very, it, it's, it's smart to acknowledge why Draymond did it. It wasn't just the act of Draymond being a bully. He has shit going on and he wasn't there. He's a human. It shows he's human 
and a lot of people would have reacted in a similar way and do react in similar ways all the time. That the yeah. for the song. This is a crazy Chick Fil A post. Um, I don't, I can't say a lot of people would act in a similar way. I think, I think punching or somebody, reacting like, like I'm, I don't mean punching them, but react in terms of just being like immature, not not handling it, not processing it the right way is what I mean. Not yeah, actually cause... punching them, but blowing up over some shit happening at home and you bringing it into work. That's a normal human thing. Because I, I was about to say, I, I think yes. well, the way the the way Gil was setting up the story. Before he said the context, it was leading into like, okay, Draymond talks shit day one, Jordan Poole talks shit the next day, and then the day after, like, you know, Draymond just couldn't handle the smoke Jordan Poole gave back, so he punched him. But then he gave the the additional context of, okay, there's some personal shit going on, and I just took that as, okay, again, this is just not a situation where Jordan Poole was talking mad shit, and he couldn't handle the smoke that he also gave out to Jordan Poole at first. That's essentially all I was saying. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it just wasn't like a black and white thing like that. But I, I I don't know if it's normal to have people blow up based off of other shit. It's specifically in the in the arena that you're in. I would have like you know probably some real issue if you can't handle yourself um, in these situations. I, from what what I saw with Draymond, I ain't gonna lie. I I would be looking at trust, like that's a trust thing, and it, it makes me even look more at, like at the Warriors organization. Now, I do I think that they made the wrong move from a basketball perspective. If it was really like okay, we have to choose between um, Draymond and we have to choose between Jordan Poole, I still think you keep Jordan or Draymond. I do mm-hmm. I do for real for real, but um. That's a little strange that this guy blows up the way he did based off of some other shit that happens at home. And we have all these things going on with with title aspirations, et cetera, et cetera. Like repeat aspirations, et cetera, et cetera. I, I think that that's that's like that's that's honestly, I understand why they did what they did. Maybe I I would do the same things, but I, I'm just gonna say I would have got rid of Draymond. I would have got rid of Draymond for real, for real. I ain't gonna lie to you. That can't happen. Can I can I ask you, in all your days of working regular nine to fives, has there never been a situation where a coworker has came in and maybe not physically assaulted somebody, but clearly was wearing outside shit into work? Like you could see that they weren't there or they weren't their normal selves because they done brought in some shit from home into work is that not something that you've experienced i i'll say this i have experienced it before mm-hmm. i will say it's probably happened maybe like two times mm-hmm. out of my 80 years of working you know okay. and, I'm, and i'm and i'm being i'm being serious that, that might just be my experience uh other people might be that way before i i, mm-hmm. I guess i can say that i'm fortunate um niggas got a job to do Niggas truly have a job to do. And if you got a job to do, come and do your job. And I kind of learned that early myself. You got a job to do, you need to come and do your job. Mm-hmm. I mean, mm-hmm. I guess it depends on what field you're working in and, and, and what you're doing. Because in the job that I work, it, it's happened. It definitely happened more than twice and over the course of the jobs I work. But I will say I don't stay at places long. So I've had... <laughs> My turn of work is quick. I, I'm quick to quit, quit a job and I'm quick to get fired. So I, I promise you, I've worked a lot of different jobs. So that might go into it, just being at a lot of different places. So, but I've I've had my fair share of coworkers who, and again, it might not be they just blow up or take it out on people at work, but you can see like, yo, know, Jeff is usually with the fun and games. We we talk football. Hey, hey, Dolphins versus fucking Seahawks, right, Jeff? And today, Jeff is not fucking. Jeff is not down to talk about football. Jeff don't want to fuck around. Jeff is just working. He got his head down. You can see it on his face. Jeff ain't with it today. That's now, that's normal. That's a normal work experience. Though. I will say this though: if I'm if I'm um if I'm Draymond, I'm gonna hop on that pod and I'm calling Gilbert Arenas out. Oh, Gil- nah, 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 nah. Gilbert, you a bitch. You a sucker. That didn't happen. Don't know who your sources are, but eat a dick. Um, you know, I'll slap the shit out of you if I see you. You can never do these. Um, I know you would take the money because you're a loser. Did he say you would take the money? He, he, he said he would take the money. I know you would take the money because you're a loser. You couldn't fix things with your ex-wife. 
Um, Shaq fucked her. Shaq fucked your girl, nigga. Yeah, Wait, Shaq e- even girl. even if Gilbert Arenas like low key defended Draymond because he was like sympathize. He sympathizing was sympathizing with him yeah. from a player's point of view. He wasn't like blaming him. Yeah, because he, he was talking about his own situation with the uh, with the gun situation that he had in this career and and how like that relates to Draymond and how we can sympathize with Draymond in this situation type shit. So. I ain't gonna lie, you spilled the beans because the beans was never gonna get spilled. Um, I can always handle Pablo, Pablo Tori and them spilling the beans. I could always handle that. Gilbert, you doing it? It's a little bit different. So with that being said, I'm doubling down. Fuck you, eat a dick. Mm, that's different though, because Pablo Tori and them, how they were painting it, they painted it like Gilbert. I mean, not Gilbert, but Draymond punched him for no reason. Like it was day the day of the practice, and he got punched. Like they didn't give no context to it. They painted Draymond in a bad light. I would feel if anything, Gil kind of cleaned it up for a lot of people. Like no, no, but what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, like, who the fuck is Pablo Torre for? The nigga that got everybody talking about this. No, nah, yeah. I think that that's more so uh uh Gil. But what and also what I'm saying to that is like if Pablo Torre says it, man, I could go ahead and you know clean that up from Pablo Torre's perspective. Like, I who knows who that guy is? Fuck that guy for real, for real. He's a loser. I've never I, talked to Pablo Torre in my life. Gil, now, Gil, yeah. Gil is Gil. So there's validity to that. And it may not be the best thing to do. You know, I, I thought rash, uh, irrationally one time, fuck it, I'm going to do it again. Yo, fuck Gil. He's a bitch. I don't care if he was defending me or not. <laughs> I'm the type of nigga standing on bending, nigga. One man arm again, 50, nigga. Fuck wrong with that nigga, bro. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> I mean, that's just the way, that's just the way I would do it, like. I slap a nigga for real. It's on God, bro. That's just me. I don't, I don't know. Um, I do want to bring this up because <laughs> my timeline You're is good. Getting... What trust you mean? Me. No. <laughs> See, in trouble, bro. I swear. Type of nigga to stand on bidding, nigga. Um, this is the Beyonce Jay Z clip. Mm-hmm. Loud ass fan. It's 2006. You taught me how to be a woman. You taught me how to live. You taught me how to be a friend. Um, you. He was 36. So much in life. Let me tell you how to be one. This is it's not enough. It's not enough I can give you. I just want you to be happy. And every year, I'm even more in love with you. And I want to spend every day of my life with you. Is she about to propose? Happy birthday. This is oh, birthday. This is birthday, nigga. God. <laughs> to, know right. can I say? to know she said all that, that nigga still with the cheat with Becky with the good hair is crazy. <laughs> Talk about it. No, shit, bro. I swear. Man. Um, man. Am I right? Let's be honest. If Rihanna got better pussy, you got to forgive him, right? <laughs> sometimes Flip hunting like no, crazy. Some, sometimes <laughs> what, no. Be be honest, bro. Sometimes women gotta own up to it. If your man cheat with a better woman, like aesthetically or just in the zeitgeist of things at the time, maybe I don't know. Yeah, when when is it you? When is it ever you? Is never you? <laughs> the fuck. I don't think Becky with the good hair was better aesthetically. I'm just but how you know? Beyonce. Right, I'm telling. I'm telling you the art. Right, cool. Oh six. Oh six. Beyonce. Right. Right. Prime. Prime, Prime. Rihanna. Just tell me. What? Just tell me. Just tell me what you're thinking. Was Becky with the good hair? Prime Rihanna. <laughs> what you doing, bro? Rihanna. I, I'm asking you, Domo, right now. Rihanna or Beyonce? Neither. My. <laughs> My fiance. Here this nigga mm. go, bro. <laughs> Here this nigga go. Family man. Okay, okay. Bezos, Rihanna, or Beyonce. My fiance. What the fuck? Hey, hey, oh. Him, bro. <laughs> oh. hey, man. All I'm Omar, saying, Rihanna or Beyonce. Uh, my answer would probably be like my wife, Beyonce. So yeah, I, you know, in the in the eyes of Jay Z, my wife, Beyonce. But I'm just saying. Come, come, Mr. DJ, some Hundy replay. She put that little accent on. That's when she had that accent. Come, let me sick a pun type shit. Yeah. Let me sick a pun. Okay, but the conversation is 
<laughs> yeah, hour two, bro. Hour two is when shit gets silly, bro. Yeah, it gets silly. <laughs> the con- the conversation was um <laughs> about you know what Damo said. I-, I guess he had to teach you that you were a woman because you were twelve at the time. That age gap is crazy though. It- it- isn't it like sixteen years, bro? No, it's not that much. Be <laughs> <laughs> wait, what is it? <laughs> this nigga, twelve. <laughs> Crazy. It's twelve. It's twelve. It's twelve. But but she was. They met each other. They met each other when um. Yeah, no, I'm crazy. Four four years. It's, it's not. Same you know, shit. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. But they met, Are we really about to play some <laughs> They met each other when she was uh eighteen or something like that. Seventeen or something so like that. That's wild. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was thirty. But he was thirty. And and so then there was this question on the TL. A uh, young woman deleted her post. But we started talking about age gaps again on the TL. And niggas talked about seven years. They kind of got to the, the realm of seven years. First of all, just for y'all, what's what's the age gap? So we can remind some of the new viewers for y'all. <laughs> Shout out to my guy Nas, man. Plus or minus three over 18. All right. Now that answer changes as I age. You know what I'm saying? I feel like if I'm 40. <laughs> Wait a minute. You ran through that. You ran through that fast. <laughs> that's too plus, plus or minus three, as long as you're over 18. So I'm I'm not... Dating a 17-year-old as a 20-year-old, even though that's plus or minus three. I'm saying so the prerequisite is just me and her okay, have to okay. be over 18. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. But I feel like as I age, if I'm like 40, I could date a 35-year-old type shit. Or if I'm 48, I don't mind dating a 43-year-old. Does that make sense? Okay. I, I guess. I, I guess. Okay. Actually, the, the plus or minus three is definitely... I like that. I was going to say uh, two years for me. Uh... Two at this point in my life, two or three years for me. Uh, yeah, nah, I can't. I, I can't deal with any woman at this point. I don't want to deal with any woman in college. Still, I don't want to deal with. Yeah, it, it's just. So niggas, niggas on the timeline tried to try to you know get me in a situation because I said the, the no the conversation was about seven years. Mm-hmm. Somehow they got to the seven years, and I thought seven years was legitimately crazy. Somebody was like, oh. Uh, 30 and 23 isn't crazy. So then I asked, I said to my timeline, could you imagine me dating somebody who's 20 right now? And the woman tried to flip the script on me, but yeah, two years up, two years down, maybe. Wait, what did she try to say? She was trying to say why you had to change it. And I was like, I, I changed it to make it fit me personally. But no matter what, that's a big ass age gap. Seven years is fucking ridiculous in your 20s. There's, there's so much that's going on that's changing. And I don't care about niggas. Oh, the law. Somebody tried to get that with me too. L- legally speaking, it's fine. <laughs> well, technically, what, what Robert did to Leah, legally speaking, was fine too because he married her. But that don't mean it's cool. Like, that shit not cool. Shit weird. It's very true. I don't know. Yeah, seven years is... 20 years old, Donald. Uh, you would date somebody 20? You would, yeah, you would no, look at somebody no, 20? No, I'm saying seven years... It changes as you get older. So I'm, 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 I'm Jesus Christ. I'm saying, I'm saying, if you're 47 dating a 40 year old, I don't think that's that great. <laughs> no. But so as I'm saying, seven years for the older crowd, definitely. I'm not sure if you're 37 dating a 30 year old. I don't think that's that crazy. But in your 20s, yeah, seven years is drastically different because at least you should be at different points in your life. Now, if you're the 27 year old. And the 20 year old is the motherfucker with their life together. That looks horrible on you. If you're like the woman that was crying over Emily Chopper not wanting the baby with her, bitch, you look awful. You're 30. That nigga just turned 19. Why are you crying on the internet over him? You look weird. So I, there's no winning. There's no win win in that situation. But older, I don't think the age gap really matters when it comes to the seven year thing. Do, do y'all feel like this conversation is like essentially very unique to the 20s period in someone's life? Because I feel like. A 20-year-old and a 30-year-old, the difference is so much crazier between a 30 and a 40 and a 40 and a 50. I think I think it's possible that it can extend to other time spans, but I think it matters less. Because like somebody that's 37 and somebody that's dating somebody 30, all right, you're almost 40 and you're trying to start this family or whatever. I'm always going to ask, especially as like, well, a man or a woman. If a woman tells me she can't have kids or opted out or whatever, I, you know, maybe I'll get it. But my question is always going to be, the fuck you 37 years old 
looking back for it, trying to start a family. Where your family at currently? Like, what are you doing, bro? That's always that's always gonna be my question. But in the twenties, I think it's just so weird because people are like massively underdeveloped, and I hate that whole eighteen is an adult thing. I legitimately hate that conversation because I think for most people, at eighteen, even up until like your mid twenties, but at eighteen, you don't know what you don't know left from right than than being seventeen. Like you just don't know anything different than being seventeen. You don't know anything from being 16 to be quite to be even more honest with you. So like there's not too much of a difference when niggas start to talk about in their 20s. Yeah. I promise you, if you're 23 years old living at home not paying bills, you're no different than an 18 year old. I, I promise you, you're not. You're you're not. That is the same fucking thing. 23, you still live with your parents, you're not paying bills. The only bill you got is your phone bill. Nigga, you're still 18. Like I don't, nothing changed for you. After leave, you you know what tax time is. That's the only thing. You know how to fill out your double two your W two on TurboTax at this point. That's literally the only difference. You can legally buy drinks. If you if you That's went to true. college, if you went to college, statistics say you'll probably graduate when you're 23, 24, so five, five, six years out of high school. You did five or six years doing that. People saying 25. I'm I'm letting y'all know now there's a lot of people who don't have jobs or are going back. People are doing stuff later today. Like in this day and age, people are doing stuff later. They're having their first kid. They're getting into their careers later. They're buying homes later. They're doing all these things later. So there's no reason why somebody who is of age and who has accomplished of the all these things already should be like, all right, now let me get somebody underdeveloped and coach them up for real. I'm just asking. I didn't even know it was a question. I thought it was just a statement. Yeah, I thought you were just saying it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <well. laughs> I thought you were going to say I'm just Throw saying that. Okay, if anything. Yeah. You in our ear. Yeah. Come on, bitch. What the? Come <laughs> Why do I have a whistle? I just, I just what the, I have, random, I have random props on my desk, you know. But I just, I, I really I'm couldn't sure imagine me right that. now. To me right now, starting my job next year. Having my stuff settled, all my situations settled, and then saying, all right, let me go get a 20-year-old that might change her major next year and start all the way over in college. Let me see what she about. See what she hitting on. Trash-ass pussy. Like, come on, bro. I'm not doing that. She crazy. You know how to wipe right. Yeah. She don't, even, come on. she don't even know how to wipe right. Come on, dog. Come on. She ain't, you ain't had enough uh, yeast infections for me to fuck with you. <laughs> I'm not doing that. She's still that's finding okay. stuff out about her body type shit. That's what I'm, but that's what I'm saying, bro. God damn, don't even know what your own clitoris is. Um, last thing before we get up out of here. Oh, we're gonna do y'all's hot takes of the week. Hot take of the week, be so Oh, dude. Oh, you did. This ain't even a hot take, bro. But um, yeah, I've I've come around to it, bro. LeBron's my goat, man. LeBron's my goat. Mm-hmm. For real? The re- I, cause I put the question on the timeline, bro. And this is just not even about basketball, to be honest with you, but it applies as well. Put a poll up. What's harder? Maintaining greatness or the grind to being great? And and then I saw the tweet about LeBron being the oldest player in the NBA. And it really put into perspective. Bro is a top fifteen, top ten, top twenty player. And the oldest player in the NBA. He's been doing this shit since he's been 27, 7, and 7 since 05. And to me, I understand the six rings with MJ, 6 and 0, bro. But it's getting to a point where how he's adapted throughout his career, on top of having accolades too, it's not like LeBron doesn't have accolades, bro. But like how he's adapted throughout all these decades, how he's maintained his level of greatness for literally 20 years. That shit is impressive as fuck, and I think it's the most craziest like feat in basketball history. To be honest with you, they showed the they showed the graphic during the media day for the Lakers of all the players that have played twenty one years and their averages in year twenty one. All everybody, all these great names, all time great players that managed to get, Kevin Garnett was up there. All these guys, and it showed them averaging seven points, eight points, six points. Nine points, five points. And then LeBron James is coming off a year of averaging fucking 28 going into this season. And that's when it hit me like, yo, this month, I already knew he was different, but this is how different he is. 
even the greatest of the greats, they've never got to this point. They weren't able. He's literally going to walk away from the game with so much left in the tank if he chooses to. LeBron can literally play compared to what other guys have done to get to year 21 where they're at the end of their ropes. LeBron can play five more years before he gets to that point. To the point where he's averaging eight points a game, he, he, he's doing that shit. He can play five more years before that point. That is insane. That's unheard of. And I'm glazing. I don't. Yeah. I don't know, and I just talked myself into it potentially. So, you know, don't don't get me, don't get me, you know, confused here. I don't know what's harder, grinding to greatness or maintaining greatness, because I think greatness is so subjective. Um, ultimately, like you could be in a bad NBA situation and, and be considered one of the greats. Like I think if Kevin Love would have stayed in Minnesota, mm-hmm. and did what he did for like six more years in Minnesota, he would have mm-hmm. been considered like a great Powerful. you know what i'm saying right, well, well let, let's put this in the creator terms i guess would you what what do you think is more impressive someone who blows up to let's just say eight million subscribers in two years i mean maintains that for let's say four to five years and falls off or the dude that got to a million subs and has maintained that um like a very strong fan base for 15 years yeah probably years. probably the second one i would probably yeah. say the second one i think yeah i think maintaining is is harder than you know reaching that because you just need honestly you just need one thing to go right two things to go right to maintain it uh one of those things probably being health but the other one is just situation mm-hmm. so you get in, you get into a situation trey young in a couple of years just based off of like circumstance might be considered great if atlanta never does anything and they just hey we're going to continue to be like a anywhere between an eighth seed to a sixth seed or whatever, but Trey Young continues to, oh, youngest player with 25, 10, and 3, or whatever the case may be. In some right, he might be regarded as great. But Mm -hmm. in order to maintain that for 15, 20, you know, years, like that's, that's, that is amazing. He's been my goat, though, so I don't know. I say, yeah, he's been yeah. my goal. I'm glad you finally see it, so he's been. Now, I'm, I'm just saying, it, it's been 1A, 1B type shit since like 2020, but now it's like one, it's one, and then two. So he could be Michael right now, though. That's the other thing, too. I think it's about right now. And if I, if we lined up Michael Jordan, um, and and you know, LeBron James, who y'all thinking? I'm not gonna lie to right now, that, yo, that's actually crazy since 05. He's averaged at least 25 20, points. Yeah. Damo, who are you taking right now? Michael or LeBron? Bro, fuck that ball-headed nigga. You know who I'm taking. I don't even know why you asked me that shit. There we go, man. That's what I wanted to hear, man. Since over, five, over, five, over, five, over 25 points for that long is almost for 19 years, basically. He's right. Is my math mathing? Yeah. Go, this year is going to be 23, 24. Yeah. What if you I don't know. Like, it's just like when when I saw that tweet today that he's the oldest player in the NBA, and I just remember like who the oldest player in the NBA was at certain points, bro. I'm talking about like Udonis Haslam, you know what I'm saying? Like Dirk Vince Nowitzki, Carter. Vince Carter type shit. Now it's LeBron, and he's still putting up 25, 9, and 6. Arguably still the best player, honestly. Arguably still the best. Like, that's crazy, bro. So. Undoubtedly top 15, top 20, like undoubtedly. At, yeah, un- at undoubtedly. Time. Yeah, e- even if you want to lowball him literally at 20, that's still unheard of, bro. But, For anybody, yeah. any all time great player. And we're not even talking about, and, and scrap bump guys playing 21 years. Any all time great player at the end of their rope, the absolute end of their rope, with nothing left to give. Yeah. Unheard of to be a t- Michael Jordan was giving you 20 a game. I don't think Michael Jordan was a top 20 player when he was doing it. Um, last thing before we get up out of here, we talk about haircuts a lot. I got a fresh one right now. It's looking a little crispy. Um, but I want you guys to know that I did not pay as much for my haircut as this man, uh, right here. He said, who? I know exactly what you're about to pull up and talk about. I knew it. First of all, letting another man light you. Yeah, that's wild, nigga. Put that's crazy. You, you literally have a free hand. That's crazy. Hey, now that's a haircut. I ain't gonna lie. Also, is, is the haircut over? I 
it might as well be. Yeah, they don't got this in the shop, man. <laughs> they, got- they giving you weed and a drink. I don't yeah. think this is this haircut is not crispy enough for me to pay two hundred for that. That's a that's he paid two hundred for that. Yeah, the haircut, the za, and the drink. Low key, hey man. He if it's some good gas, I can see it. I ain't gonna lie to you. If it's good weed, I absolutely see it. I if it's if that nigga is what? if he's offering the blunt and that's good weed, I'm not gonna lie to you. I get it. I I get it. You drinking, you smoking good weed and a haircut and tips included. I get it. If that is some trash weed, you're getting scammed. No way that no way. I, I'm I there, telling you, I'm, there's no there's no haircut. First of all, there's no haircut that's two hundred dollars that doesn't come with pussy. Um, that's one. And two, I can't see. First of all, the haircut was not good. The haircut was not finished. Like maybe that was an intermission. <laughs> it's no break in the middle of the haircut. Man, if if he and and the barber better be giving up some. He the barber better be throwing some neck after that. That's the only way that that makes sense. I'm turned up, Brandon. I'm just a little sauced up. Got the henny in my system. Blowing a little tree. And then, ooh, shit. A little top on top. That's the only way that that makes top sense to me. Top on top. That's the <laughs> only... That's the, nigga, that's the only way that makes sense to me. That's crazy. That's the only way that makes sense to me. I never... I, I don't understand. I, I feel it. I mean, hey, it's not for everybody. And I, hey, 200 is crazy for a haircut. I get that. I'm not understanding the people like there was women that was commenting, "What the fuck? A blunt during a haircut? What the fuck is this?" Ah, ah, ah. my thing is they were complaining about the blunt and the drink. I'm like, when women go to get their nails done, offer you wine. You can drink while you're getting your nails done. What's the difference? And I'm not talking about oh they got a one cup limit. I've been to the nail salon. Y'all seen the picture? I had my nails done. I've experienced it. Nigga, it is endless motherfucking mimosas while you getting your nails my, done. Nigga. My girl did get a mimosa. Yeah, it's that, endless, bombless yeah. mimosas while they're getting your nails done. So you get, you can get drunk if, if there's people who don't know how to handle their liquor and they go in that bitch and they get wine drunk while they what you call it. Do you think that there's a problem? I think I actually do think that there's a problem that people feel the need to get drunk or that there, there's the access to get drunk in every fucking situation. That's a crazy thing to me. I mean. Me personally, it's capitalism. I think I think it's crazy, but I'm not a drinker for real. So I mean, I feel like there is just that bias of I'm not a drinker. So I, I get I I don't get it. But I am a smoker, and if we're starting to allow smoking in everyday situations, I'm gonna be pro smoking. So I'm I can understand that I have a bias there. That's also why that four drink thing doesn't really like bother me. Mm-hmm. I get it. Americans fucking drink like a lot, so. It is what it is. What 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 needs to come with the haircut for y'all to pay two hundred dollars for it? We <laughs> uh, more than one blunt too. Like, I ain't gonna hold you two hundred dollars. Two blunts, a good cut, and it don't gotta be uh, like handy or nothing. Just give me something to drink, and I'm like, oh, it's worth it to me. Yeah, good good cut is definitely yeah. the prerequisite. Okay, yeah, yeah great, good, cut. great cut. Great cut. I about to say great, great, great cut, cut my nigga. Good, good is great not cut. cut. Um, I probably. I'd appreciate a drink, maybe a, a complimentary massage or something. You can get you know anything in the world, dog. You can get anything. Food. Yeah. Head. I mean, I drink. So, um, yeah, uh, uh, the drink. You know what I'm saying? And uh, Head. a massage, wherever I want it. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. That's my guy right there. <laughs> yeah. That's my All right, guy. Mr. Watson. All right, buddy. But I'm saying, if that's the services, put that, put that, put that shit on me. Put that hand on that me. Appetizers, mimosa, shampoo, and massage. A handy J under the cover is crazy. He's still talking about the twist and turns in the Gill story. Give me all them twist and turns. I like that. Type like shit. That. Type shit. I don't like that. Um, I'm not zoned out, bro. Chill. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. <laughs> um, you really think about it. That's crazy. Why can't I get a, t- <laughs> <laughs> a twist and turn? <laughs> No, two hundred dollars. Yo, hello, oh. bro. <laughs> this guy, yeah. this guy, Chad. This I thought guy. you, I, I thought you was looking for the. T- this guy's a freak. Freak. My man. fault, freak. man. My fault, man. <laughs> um, I think, I, I think, I think that's all the pressing issues that I have to talk about today. Um, we missed anything? 
I don't think so. Shouts out to the Hornets. Oh, oh, oh. I don't think this is important for y'all, but shouts out to the Hornets for saying that uh, Brandon Miller is ready to listen to the Vets. Um, don't know the Vets on the Hornets, but it is what it is, man. I, oh, I think um, a vet in the NBA is five years. No, no, no. I know that, up. but come yeah. on now. <laughs> well, no, no, no. Because I know we was having a conversation. I think we said older, but I think it's five years and up because that's when you get a league pension. Yeah, yeah. I know, I, no, I, 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 we know it's five. The vets on that team is P.J. Washington. Who, who is Brandon Miller taking in information from, bro? Gordon Hayward and Terry Rozier, man. Those are good vets. Okay. All right. Be so. Say goodbye to the people. This is crazy. Peace out, y'all. Appreciate y'all for coming through. I'm going to be streaming right after this. The raid will go to me today. Okay, so stay tuned. We got some videos to react to. We got some activities to do and possibly game. All right. So okay. Stay tuned. Damn, I'm going to say goodbye to the people. All right, Chaz, me and my favorite midnight snack, and we will be back motherfucking Monday. Hey, man, think about it. Laura Hayward, Taylor Rozier's your vets, or CJ McCollum and Garrett Temple? Think about that. Um, oh y'all be God. easy, man. I will catch you, motherfuckers, later. Um, I will see you guys next week. I didn't post two times. I didn't post for the past two days. Back to posting aggressively. Back to streaming tomorrow aggressively. We we'll talk about the WNBA expansion and all those other things we didn't talk about today. But uh, until next time, we will see you on B Souls stream because I know I'm gonna be tuning in. All, all right, guys. Let me start the stream first. Boom. Boom.